been big day. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> there was like a tiny Sims update and two tiny little kits they announced, but big day, you know? One of the kits wasn't even leaked, so that's fun. Um, but anyway, we're gonna play some Sims. <laughs> we have a lot of builds to finish. Uh, two. We have two builds to finish. Um, and that's the plan. So, anyway. All the assets leaked though? Yeah, I think as soon as the updates come out that happens, Alana. Uh, I choose to ignore that though. I, I think that's just a... Uh, a fact of life with the updates so i don't know that part's not surprising but the other kit didn't leak before they actually announced it so that's a win <laughs> for us that's a win <laughs> uh ari and nutmeg and logical and jennifer um alana and orbit thank you for the subs but yeah i choose to whenever they have like asset leaks for packs i don't like to look at it um because i don't want to see like the list of all the things before it actually comes out because I think it's fun to like actually see it, <laughs> you know? Um, no infants, you're sad. Guys, I, ah, uh, this infant thing is causing me, honestly, deep stress. Deep, deep stress inside and it has for the last week. Because the whole reason people thought this is because one person tweeted guessing there would be an update today. And then everybody was like, it's infants. <sighs> There was no indication it was going to be infants. I did not think it was going to be infants. I've said this every day on stream for a week. I've been trying so hard to, like, w keep expectations low. And I just, oh, <laughs> this infant thing stresses me out so much. I just, it, like, I, to me, I figured if it was going to be the infants, they would have, like, teased it more. You know, like, it, to me, it was like, if there isn't even an update, it's going to be, like, a pre-kit thing. And then it was. Um, but anyway, the whole, like, people assuming it was infants was causing me so much stress. When the Sims community gets, like, really, um, because we like to take things and run with it. <laughs> and when I see that happening over something that I'm, like, almost positive isn't gonna happen, it causes me so much stress. Um, but anyway, the update obviously is not out. It won't be, they haven't said anything about it. It's, like, you, this is the problem with them saying early 2023, because now anytime they do a tiny bug fix, we're all gonna be like, is it gonna be infants, though? And then, I don't know, um, I'm just, you're making me all nervous. <laughs> One of the kits, there's a, it's an underwear kit and a bathroom clutter kit, um, which is kind of fun. But there was a bug patch today. Yeah, a tiny, tiny little bug patch and also uh, prep for the kits that are coming out on Thursday. They're coming out in like two days, um, which is kind of alarming. But underwear, yeah, I don't know, bestie. Check the Sims Twitter. <laughs> Check the Sims Twitter, you'll see. Oh, my stream is dying. My stream is dropping so many frames. Oh my god, is it fine? I don't know. Oh, it's red again. I don't know. Maybe it's fine, maybe it's not. You can still see me. Am I lagging? Oh dear. Okay, this is fine. It's fine for you? Okay, well that makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> um, only a little bit of lag? Okay, well it's, it was flashing red, so it was, al it was alarming. What I was looking at? Alarming, but maybe it's fine. Um, I don't know, but anyway, so today we're gonna do some builds. Uh, we have to build a micro home for my not so very sim, which I'll explain in a second, and then we'll finish the, um, we will finish the, uh, shell challenge build that we started yesterday. Sorry, I distracted myself because I was gonna pull up the sims tweet while I sit here and talk, because then people can look at it, um, because they're gonna be so confused, uh, if they haven't seen this yet. <laughs> so while I read the subs, you can look at this. Um, <laughs> Pixels, Justice, Tessa, Lucy, uh, MXC, and Pug, and Emma, Girl on Fire, Jade, uh, Miss Sam, and Chu, and Moth, and Heartfell, and Fruit, and Melissa, and Shark, Kay, Ronnie, Bree, Allie, Princess, uh, Katrine, Katie, Maddie, MCAT, Salty, uh, Frosty, Crystal, Erica, Renly, Sander shot it with a thousand bits, oh my goodness, Mara, Lunar, Ginger, Val, Jupiter, Lime, Joy with a gifted sub, Smile, Beck, Maggie, Grumpy, Mushy, Artist, Sid, Brina, I'm so sorry if I missed anything, I'm so not trying to, thank you all so, so, so much for all the, um, all the resubs and stuff, um, but yeah, this is what they tease. So, uh, an underwear pack and also the uh, bathroom clutter kit, which is kind of fun. I'm very excited about the bathroom kit. I love the idea of some more bathroom clutter. So, uh, I don't know. We'll see. Comes out in like two days, so we don't have a long time to wait. Oh my god, my OBS is flashing red again! 
Oh, besties. Today's gonna be a long day. <laughs> Today is gonna be a long day. Wish us luck. Um, wish us luck. OBS, please. I know. It's red. It's green again. It just keeps going red for a second. If it's, like, not that noticeable to chat, because most of you guys aren't saying anything about it, so, um, maybe it's not too, too bad. I don't know. I've dropped 8% of frames, though. 9% of frames for the whole- oh my god. I'm gonna find out if this is happening to Dan, too. Um, anyway. That's not ideal. <laughs> I will cry. I will cry. Um, uh, okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything is totally fine and fine and fine. <sighs> Can new kids break our mods in Sims 4? Well, the kids won't break your mods, but the update that came out today may have caused some issues. I haven't checked, but uh, I don't know. Let's see if it disabled them. Uh, yeah, disabled mods today. I feel like the mods are probably fine today. Um, this was a small patch, but the kids won't, packs won't. It's the it's the update beforehand. And what happens is basically you can think of it like when a modder makes a mod, they're like messing with some stuff uh, to like mod it, right? And then if the Sims team in their update changes something the mod is relying on, then the mod breaks. Um, and they have to go back and fix it because the Sims team changed whatever behind the scenes the mod was using um, and it broke it. And there's obviously like varying degrees of that. Uh, so it's usually updates that you have to worry about breaking mods, not packs. Um, and there's always an update before a pack comes out though. So <laughs> um, I don't know. That's something to keep in mind. Uh, but I think the mods should be fine today because it was only a bug fix patch. So it shouldn't be any issue. I haven't heard anybody talking about any particular mods having problems, but uh, okay. So, the plan for today is that we're gonna build a new house for one of my not so berry sims. Uh, basically, this sim, Raisin, is my heir for Gen 5, the, the plum gen of not so berry. And one of the rules for that generation is that you have to live in three different worlds over the course of your life. So here's my thought process. Obviously, she lives in one because she's lived here in Mount Komorebi for a while. So that's one. And I was thinking, because her whole thing is to do the renaissance sim aspiration, which means you have to get level 8 in like 6 skills. Basically you need to do a lot of skill building. So I thought it might be kind of nice if we lived in a micro home very briefly, just to like max some skills fast, because you get double skill gain. And so I thought maybe she could like briefly move out of the family's home, leave the rest of them there for a sec, We'll live in our micro home for like five days or something. Um, and then after that, we'll build a new house, a new big house that everyone can fit in. Like the whole legacy family, all of our graves. Um, but we'll just live on our own for like a tiny bit just to like do some skill boosting basically. And then we'll come back together into that third world um, with everyone in a big house. So we're gonna build that micro home today to like try and, you know, take advantage of the skill gain basically. Um, that's kind of my thought process. So uh, we talked about, here's the thing. We had originally talked about maybe building it in Sulani and how that would be kind of fun. Cause like the two worlds, Mount Komorebi and Sulani, honestly, could not be more opposite. <laughs> like in the snowy mountains or in the beach, like it's so different. So it might be kind of fun if she did that. The problem is it has to be like so purple and I'm not sure that I could pull it off as well over here, but we could definitely try. Um, so I don't know. Uh, did I drop Raisin? She's not ready to live here yet, Sophie. We're gonna get it ready. We're gonna get it ready for her today. We're just gonna build it today so it's ready. That's the idea. Um, but so we're gonna build like a purple micro home in Sulani. <laughs> it's kind of what I'm thinking. I liked the idea of living on the water. Um, cause then it's like kind of cool to have a chance to live over here. I don't know. Um, Raisin's gap year? Maybe. Yeah, it's like she's going to university or something, but <laughs> it's, uh, we're going to live on the beach for a little bit so I can get double skill gain. <laughs> I'm just trying to come here to my micro home so I can uh, boost my skills quickly <laughs> for a little bit. <laughs> That's the thought. It's kind of the same thing as university. Oh my. Huh. Well, I, <laughs> I must have been here once. And I must have like aged up a sim or something. 
Uh, you can see there's a cake there. So I must have come here to age up a sim at some point, and then maybe, like, started a fire by accident? What did I do? This- we're- we're on Gen 15, technically, of the legacy, so, like, anything could have happened. <laughs> And who knows when it happened? I don't know. <laughs> Anything is possible. It wouldn't have been an NPC sim. It's more likely that what happened here is I, like, moved out my my sim's brother or something. And then I came here to, like, age up his kid. And then this happened. That's that's what I'm guessing. Um, is that I would have, like, moved a sim out and then, like, come here to visit the family. And then, you know, I bring fires wherever I go. So... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not surprised, but <laughs> we aren't even living here yet. This is actually kind of fun. This feels like a nice touch. Um, the lot it has been like broken in, you know? It's ready for us. <laughs> Green, uh, Lunia, Ale, and, and uh, Rainbow's Canadian, Leo, Romantic, Jimmy. Jora, Cinnabons, Paulini, Priory, and Wiggle, and Titch, and Pink Cat Lady, Allison, Arcade, and Crystal, Sarah, Elizabeth, Becca, Amy, Aaron, Brad, Fevy, Caitlin, Emmy. Oh no. Uh, Aaron, Lazy, Cinnabons, Elizabeth, Mooney, Dennis, thank you all so much. I'm so sorry if I missed anything. I'm really not trying to. Um, do you know what? That's almost 100%. James, this one time, I switched lots so I could like age up the toddler. Uh, and, and stuff. Basically what happened was I switched households. So like imagine I like switched to be active playing my sims brother or whatever. Um, and I was there for like a second. Baked a cake, was gonna age up the baby. And then I went back into my other household, the main one, and the cat was dead. I like missed the cat dying because it died of old age in the like couple hours that I was playing in a different household. That's probably, and I probably, oh my god. Speaking of cat, it just appeared on my lap. <laughs> There's a cat, <laughs> but um, I, I think that we got distracted because there would have been a fire, so it took longer, and then I got back home and my cat was dead. My Sims cat, not the not this cat. This one's right here. <laughs> uh, that really just surprised me. All of a sudden, there was a cat on my lap. <laughs> uh, anyway, I guess I'll just kill this then, and we'll build something new, shall we? Unless we want to do it somewhere else. No, I like this lot. This lot has memories because of that, you know? This lot has, um, again, it's been, uh, broken in. My cat's, like, all tangled in my headphone cord. Um, <laughs> you missed when your heir died because you were at your neighbor's? <gasps> no! That would devastate me. I'd let, I'd quit The Sims. I'm actually not kidding. I'd quit. <laughs> Pepper, Julie, Shan, Penguin, Laura, Plancy, Eve, thank you all for the subs. I'm so sorry. I think I read everything. If I did miss one, I'm so sorry. Thank you all so, 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 so much. Thank you all so, 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 so much. Um, okay, anyway. Snappy, can you- I'm trying to, like, set this up so we can start building. We need to think about color scheme a little bit because it needs to be purple. We have to keep that in mind. But there's not a lot of good walls that are purple and, like, are also suitable as an exterior wall. Uh, cause what are you gonna do? Use, like, a glowing wallpaper? <laughs> like, I don't know. How do you age up Sims when you're not playing them? Well, Priceless, what I did is I went in and started playing in that household. Uh, you can age up Sims that you're not actively playing as, though. If you invite them over to your house and bake a cake, if you click on it, you can click Age Up Sim and then select the Sim if they're on your lot. So. Add purple flowers on the walls. I don't know. We'll see. Purple accents, perhaps. I really want it to be... You guys need to keep in mind, this is a not-so-berry house. And these not-so-berry houses, they're, like, a little excessive. You know what I mean? Um, so, like, it's, it's okay if we really go all out with the purple. <laughs> um, all out with the purple is a good thing. <laughs> Even if a little excessive. The purple stone? I don't like it. This is kind of gray to me anyway. Um, but I don't really like the purple stone. It says it's purple, but... To me, I don't think it's purple. It looks kind of gray. And it's not really the vibes that I'm going for. We can maybe use it as an accent, but it doesn't, like, that doesn't look purple to me. You know what I mean? This, however... 
Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there is purple roofs. That's actually an interesting thing to keep in mind. Um, I don't know, but it's gonna be a micro home. That's the main thing, is that we really need it to be a micro home. Um, because we're using, the whole point is to live in a micro home briefly so that we can try and like, make money. <laughs> or make skills, I should say. The whole point is to live in a micro home and get skills out of it. So, I don't know. Let's just start and see what happens, right? We shall see. We shall see. Can you play Not Subway Challenge but on a PS4? Yeah, Mariah, it's the same as playing on PC. Um, no difference there. So you can absolutely play it on a PlayStation. Um, all right, tiny home. That's 28 tiles. Ooh. <laughs> oh no. This is gonna have to be like actually so small. This is part of the issue, honestly, with it being a beach house like this, is because if we wanna have any sort of deck, you can't do like the normal cheats with like making a fake one and just like putting flooring on the ground. Oh my God, can you literally not? <gasps> Guys. Oh no, hang on, we have to think about this. This might not be a reasonable lot for a micro home. Because of our, our rooming, our room limitations, create a fake second floor. I don't really want it to have a, a second floor, like decorative wise, you know? Hang on, I'm coming back. We gotta leave the burnt house though. So <laughs> I'm coming back without saving. Uh, Shari and Clark and Christy, or sorry, Kirsty, Ona, Allison, Jen, Metal, thank you for the subs. We want that to still be there. Um, we don't wanna have to have gotten rid of our stuff. Is it still there? Okay, good. We could try Tartosa, I guess. That might be an idea. Cause that's similar. Right? And we could live on like a tiny lot, I guess. It's not as beachy. I have to get rid of you, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, we could still live in um, Sulani, but on a different lot as well. Like one of the flat ones. The purple here would look cute though. That's true, like grapes. Okay, maybe you're onto something, Chad. <laughs> so do I wanna live down here or do I wanna live up in the top? Hmm. Hmm. That's a good lot. Up here kinda has like vineyard vibes. Um, so this is an idea. You like Sulani a little more? Yeah, I think I like Sulani a little bit better too. We have to look at a couple options. <gasps> Wait, no, Lil, you might be onto something. The windows from this pack, there's a purple swatch, isn't there? Hang on, let me kill my um, hard work <laughs> really fast. Uh, there is a purple swatch on one of the windows from this pack. Packs, my wedding stories. <gasps> Guys. With the purple flowers behind us. I think this might be the one. I think we're gonna live up here for a little bit. Keeping in mind, it's only gonna be a micro home. <laughs> so, it's gonna be like, uh, this big. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. We'll put like plants and stuff to fill in the lot. It'll be fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I'm good. It's fine. <laughs> it could be tier two. No, I want it to be a tier one. I'm really set on it being a tier one. You still get double skill gain with the tiny home, um, but I'm really set on it being a tier one micro home. I don't know. Um, it would probably be fine if we lived in a tier two because we do still get double skill gain and things, but I really like, I have in my heart that I want it to be a micro home. You know? It's got good vibes. Anyway, let's begin. <laughs> I don't know what it's gonna look like yet. Uh, we will see. <laughs> we will see. Okay. 
Ähm. What world is this? This is Tartosa. Um, this is the world that came with the wedding pack. Um, do with that information what you will. Everybody's favorite pack. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oh no. Okay. Uh I don't know if I like this or not, besties. It's it's unclear to me. I need to kill it. Hang on. Let's try again. Oh no. I feel like it can be very simple exterior-wise. Like um what if it had where's the water? There's like a river that way. Okay. I'm thinking what if there was like a we can do like some outdoor covered area like over here and have it like overhang off, you know, and then this can be like outdoors only. Obviously, it's not really a tile as far as the game is concerned, and we can sort of try and, you know, sneak it a little. Um. Please don't use the pink window from this pack. <laughs> it's not purple and it looks tacky. Especially if it's for plum gen, not pink gen. Okay, Shelby, my love. <laughs> I'm sorry for the dramatic reading your message, but like, the, your capitalization was a little dramatic. And I really like this window. So if you don't like it, maybe you could build a house that's different that doesn't use it instead, okay? That's just an idea. Um, but that might be more fun for you. But I really like this window. Um, and I think it's kind of purpley. Obviously, it's slightly pink toned, but I mean, it's you know, <laughs> it's it's The Sims. Not everything is exactly plum. Look at the purple swatches of doors. The options are limited. We make do with what we have, you know. It's also classed as being purple, so whether you like it or not, <laughs> the game says it's purple, so. <laughs> um, anyway, people are so silly on the internet. Uh, okay. I don't know about this. Oh, I don't know about this. What do we think about this sort of thing, besties? This is what- I'm not sure about this lot. It's just like the house is gonna be so small. You know, the house is gonna be like so small <laughs> and I'm not sure if it's a good idea or not, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, Fly, Supple, Thad, and DF, and Mickey, and Taggy, thank you for the subs. Okay. Oh no. Room to grow? Well, we're not gonna live here for very long. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Um, sorry, I was just... <laughs> Black roof, please, I beg. You guys gotta keep in mind, it's the not so very challenge. And our purple options are like so limited. What am I gonna do? Paint it plum? This is what plum looks like in The Sims 4. Absolutely devastating. Absolutely devastating. Um... No. Vibes are way off. <sighs> absolutely not. Yeah, no, absolutely not. <laughs> Why are building a microhome for the purple gen? It's a brief, a brief stint in a microhome so we can build skills, guys. We're you have to live in three different worlds over the course of your life in the purple gen. Um, so we're doing a brief stint in a purple uh, microhome as a skill building cottage. I don't like this lot anymore. I'm trying somewhere else. I think I need a smaller lot. No, only we are going to live there. Basically what's gonna happen is we're gonna move out as a young adult for like five in-game days. 
maximize skill building, and then move back with our family into the big house with everybody else. We're just going into a small place very briefly to micro home max skill build. Does that make sense? Um, we're just trying to uh, make do with what we can. Maybe I could live over here. I'm gonna evict this poor little family. So sorry. Um, it's like when you have a gap year. <laughs> Pretend she's going to like university or something. But really what she's doing is going to a micro home for five days. So, will she be a doctor when she lives in the tiny home? Yeah, we'll start working. It's really not that deep, guys. I know people seem to be really concerned about this, but <laughs> the goal is the goal is just to to like do some double skill building and and like live somewhere else because you need to live in three lots over the course of your life or three worlds over the course of your life for this generation of not so berry. So, um, that's the idea. Um, Davia and Queen and and Lisa and Beetle and Allison and Samantha and Colum. Thank you for the subs, Nikki. Thank you for the bits. Hello, Olivia, Megan. Um, okay, let's. Let's do this, shall we? We're trying somewhere else. Um, okay. Uh, okay, now I'm really, really uh, excited about that window that we're going to use. <laughs> I think that's my only goal. Um, and from there, I don't know, we'll see. We shall see. Uh, is there a date for the YouTube legacy build? Yeah, Jake, I was gonna do it on Tuesday, but, or sorry, Thursday, not Tuesday. I was gonna do it on Thursday, but now The Sims is releasing kits on Thursday. So maybe we'll do it on Friday. I need to like think about it more. Um, Cause I'm not hundred percent sure, but The Sims releasing kits on uh, the day I was gonna do the build is kind of throwing me off. I won't lie. Um, it's, it's kind of inconvenient, so. <laughs> Uh, what kits are we getting? There's two. It's one of them is like a, one of them is like a, a kit that's like underwear stuff. Basically, it's called the Symptomits kit, and the other one is bathroom clutter. Um, you can check the Sims Twitter for more information. I also posted a video about it earlier. So, um, could build their house with the kits. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Um, I don't know how to say this nicely, but like. Uh, pack release days are like super stressful <laughs> on stream because people are like super weird and sometimes kind of mean and that also happens when I'm building like a highly anticipated um, house for my legacy challenge so I'm having a little bit of anxiety about doing those both of those things on the same day basically <laughs> <laughs> um, I like the thought of that makes me feel a little bit nervous um, but that's not to say that we aren't gonna do it I just need to think about it more <laughs> so I'll decide tonight um, I was planning on still doing it that day but maybe we'll do like a separate kit build or something that day I don't know um, what do people do or say well they're just they're just really invested um, and and they're not afraid to say that you're stupid and your build is ugly because you're doing something that isn't how they would do it. I mean, that happens any day, but it, it definitely is um, to an extreme degree when it's like for a legacy build or something. Um, I guess people just care more maybe, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's why. <laughs> and it's, it hurts my feelings and it's kind of stressful, so. Um, I'm sure you understand. Okay, how do I want to do this? Do I want it to be like... Off the exact same way? Oh my goodness. I have literally no idea what I want this to look like, besties. This is... This is gonna be a rough day. We are having a rough day. Um, you like lavender windows? I like lav lavender windows a lot too. Um, I think they're super cute. Okay. Okay. I don't know if I want to do something like that or not. Oh, guys. This is what I get for trying to make, like, a beach house. Maybe I shouldn't have made, like, a beach house. <laughs> Maybe I should have made, like, a... A not beach house. 
you know? I want to pause it again. I don't know what I want it to look like. Ugh. Debug stepping stones? Yeah, I haven't gotten to the outside yet. Mine. We'll figure that part out. We need to think more about the actual shape first. Um, to the entrance of the house, going through the front patio instead of the front? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of a fun idea to have it be on the side. I don't know. It's hard because you can't really do a ton shape-wise with these, like, little tiny micro houses because I want to like maximize space, you know, to the best of my ability at least. Um, okay. Bulldoze count. Look, it's only a tiny house. I've barely done anything. So <laughs> bulldozing this doesn't count, right? That's how it works. I've barely bulldozed. It's fine. It's fine. Maybe I'll make it a bit wider. Is there anything purple, like, trim-wise? No. Ugh. That's actually so rude of them. They really should have made something purple that is trim. <laughs> Maybe I will paint the whole house white. Okay, we do white, and then we use our purple windows. What do we think about something like that? These are so small. Um, I feel like that could be kind of cute, actually. There's potential. And then keep in mind, there'll be like a bunch of landscaping and stuff. It'll like really, um, I don't know, fill it up. <laughs> Uh, okay. I don't think column wise, it could probably just be something really simple, like the cats and dogs one or something. Of course, it's like a different shade of white. The awning from the kit instead of the second roof. I really wanted to do like a proper roof. I know that we have awnings and stuff, but I'm trying to like make the house look bigger than it is. And I don't think that the awning has that effect. Like, I don't think that you look at this and think that like, oh, the house is bigger than you think. But if, if it has like a, a roof extension, you might look at it and be like, oh, it's big. I don't know. Obviously it's cute, but like, eh. Eh. Okay, let's look at island living stuff again. Um. We like the roof better. Yeah, we could always use this on like the side or something as a patio. You can do both, you know? Um, well, now I deleted my, wait. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, we're trying to like fill in the lot and make the space seem bigger than it actually is. So all these little things will help. Island living. Yeah, there is a base game pergola that has purple flowers. That's actually kind of a fun idea. Um, to go for like the full on pergola instead. Just, I don't think this one has purple flowers. Oh, it does. Ooh. This one has a white swatch. This is like too big. The one from Island, or the one from the wedding pack. That is like a serious extension of the house right there. <laughs> that looks huge. <laughs> that looks enormous. Um, can I size it down? I mean, your sim should still be able to get like under that. Oh my God, that's so annoying. Your sim should still be able to walk under that, even if it's smaller. So, cause like, look at the height of a door for comparison. That shouldn't be any problem, you know? I like it better sized down anyway. I think that looks nicer. Okay, let's think lighting, just a couple of big lights. Maybe I'll get us some landscaping first too. 
about taller wall height? Well, I think because it's so small, I don't really want to make the walls even taller because then it'll be like as tall as it is big. <laughs> it'll look like a square. Um, and I feel like that might be kind of weird for what we're going for, you know? Um, so I don't think I'll make the walls taller on this particular build this time. Uh, we can get some really pretty bushes. This will be so good. I don't like that. That's better. And then we'll put like pretty flowers and trees and stuff in there. I don't know. This will be for the Potts family. Yeah, we're gonna have uh, our heir Raisin is gonna live here very briefly as a young adult for like five in-game days or something um, so that we can do some skill building. We're gonna have her live here and then try and like maximize um, some skills while living in a micro home because you get double skill gain while you're living in micro homes. Um, so we're gonna try and like really take advantage of that. Cause she needs to like gain so many skills for like her generation's rules. Um, she needs to like level eight and like six skills and stuff. So I figured it would be kind of a nice uh, way for us to like help boost that while also living somewhere different, you know? Um, yeah, see, these are not ugly palm trees. We talked about how much I hate palm trees yesterday. Even these palm trees I don't hate because they're not as like puny and weak. It's like, it's like if this palm tree were taller and if its leaves were worse, like more like these kind of leaves is like Florida and smaller, but the tree is like twice the height. It looks so ugly when it's like that. These tall little skinny ugly palm trees that we have around here, absolutely disgusting. We had a whole discussion about palm trees yesterday. <laughs> People were, um, they were offended that I said I thought palm trees were ugly, but I live in Florida, so I'm allowed this opinion. I can say what I want about palm trees. That's how it works. <laughs> All you have to do is live in Florida and then you can say whatever you want about palm trees. Um, we could probably get a sliding glass door. That might be kind of a nice way to make these parts look less bad. That's kind of cool. And then maybe we could have our little bathroom be like this and we could have a bed nook in here. Oh, I don't think that'll fit. You are allowed opinions? Thank you. Raised it up and then made a platform for the bedroom, like sort of a studio. I'm worried about messing with platforms in this Kingstone just because of how small the lot is. Uh, I have a little bit of nerves about messing with platforms too much because because then we're like sort of losing space to stairs and things. Like it just, um, I don't know, kind of makes me makes me a little bit nervous. Um, she could sleep in a single bed. Yeah, but I uh, I want her to be able to woohoo in the bed. We can have a kitchen and like little dining area back here and then we could have a bed and small living area over there. But yeah, I want to be able to use the bed for her to woohoo in, so. Is Bran living here? I don't know, we haven't decided if we're gonna move her boyfriend in yet. We will have to see. Right now I'm, I'm more just prioritizing skill gain than anything. Like guys, I'm not kidding when I say I'm literally gonna live here for like five days and just skill build the whole time. Like, I'm, I'm just gonna have her, like, skill, skill, skill. I'll, I'll, like, take days off work or whatever if I have to. Like, this is specifically a skill-building goal. <laughs> you know? Like, that's, that's the whole purpose of this, is to build skills while she's here. Brand like Raisin Brand? Yeah, that's her boyfriend's name. That is on purpose, because her name is Raisin. Um... One of my mods, Christine, made Raisin for us. Or made Bran for us. Sorry, Raisin was born. <laughs> Christine made Bran for us. Um, not Raisin. Raisin was born. <laughs> not created in that way. Um, okay. I'm doing like a little fake path. Well, I guess it's a real path, but you know. The idea being that this way I can try and... Um, I don't know, wrap it around and make it look cool. That's my idea. 
Um, don't like that. This is fine. This will do. Right? What pack are those? Those are debug. Uh, they're not actually from a pack at all. They're a base game, but you have to type uh, two cheats, bb.showhiddenobjects and bb.showliveeditobjects. Um, that's how you can get in there to those. Two cheats, kind of weird, but that's base game. That's not from any pack, so. Um, okay, okay. So these are the island living flowers. Um, slightly different color vibe than the windows, but we need to keep in mind that there's not like one shade of purple in The Sims 4. There's a few shades of purple and um, it's not all gonna match. <laughs> so uh, we just need to embrace the fact that it's purple. Uh, and and do with that what we can, you know, like we can't sit here and get hung up over the fact that it's like Oh, it's not like the right purple like it's just it's gonna be purple and that's good enough, you know um, The one right down the codes that she used the the debug cheats Kita if you need to find them you can google sims 4 debug cheats d-e-b-u-g debug that might be a little bit easier for you to remember than uh, like the full cheat that I used um, but it's bb.showhiddenobjects and bb.showliveeditobjects. If you search the debug cheats, you'll find them. Um, hopefully that helps you. Okay. Island living. That's not purple at all! Hmm. Besties, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure how I want to do this yet. We'll see. Um, okay. I don't really want that to like overlap with my uh, flooring. Okay. I don't know. Love the purple flowers. Yeah, I think it's so fun. Uh, maybe we could try and do like some sort of purple. I don't know if there's a purple fence. Oh, there is. <laughs> maybe not one that I want to use though. <laughs> there most certainly is a purple fence. <laughs> yeah, I use the Sims 3 camera. I always use the Sims 3 camera. Um, this is so cute, but not for this purpose. Um, Sims 3 camera is a lot better for building because you can, uh, you have a lot more control over where you're looking and stuff. And for those that aren't familiar, you can change the camera setting up here. If you change the camera setting, it changes all your controls. Uh, so definitely make sure you're like aware of what you're clicking on if you uh, go to do that. But uh, it's pretty, pretty nice, I think. Oh, you know what I can't do is put like, one of these because it's going to make it not a micro home. That's annoying. That's annoying. I can put this like down there though. Little wall. I don't know. The island living one is like really, uh, a snowy escape. Where's that? This is the island living ones. Um, they're not really like the color scheme that we need. So maybe I won't use that. We shall have to see. <laughs> we do have a purple mailbox, like an actual purple mailbox. It's kind of cute though. I think I can put that down here, right? I like it. Okay. It fits the vibes, I think. Um, not sure about this situation. Need to do some thinking. 
I don't know. This villa has such cute vibes. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm glad that you think so. That makes me feel good about this. Um, I really like this one. I think it's gonna be super cute. It's definitely gonna take us some time to like finish it, but. Um, maybe I should like, I don't know use this over here too, and then put the plants out front of it. The landscaping and mailbox are so whimsical. Thanks, that's a fun way of describing it. I like that. It's whimsical, it's cute. Um, I'll use this little window back here because I'm probably gonna have, well, maybe I could use the big, the big one. I think that would be okay. And we'll have like kitchen cabinets and then like a dining table in the corner. You know? I like that. Maddie, Cryptid, Unicorn, Adventures, uh, Refers, and Mackenzie, and Annabelle, AC, and Marchie, and Heidi, and Ray, and Sharps. Thank you for the subs, by the way, everybody. Oh, if I do the kitchen back here, the bathroom won't work like this. Because for the bathroom to function how I want it to, I need the door to be like here. Um, hang on besties, the kitchen is gonna have to be different. <laughs> the kitchen is gonna have to actually be like on this back wall. That'll be fine. Don't they have outdoor bathroom stuff? Yeah, we have a little bit of outdoor bathroom stuff. And obviously we could do some slight like outdoor kitchen stuff too, if we wanted to. Um, it's just, I think nice to, to also have like some indoor stuff. You know, uh, when, when possible, I think indoor plumbing is a win. Um, maybe that's just me, but <laughs> I feel like that would be a useful feature. <laughs> I think that would be good for us. So, okay. Um, it could be, the thing is we could even have like, well, we can use the island living counters too. That would be so cute. Um, but we could have like maybe um, an island with like bar stool seating. Um, and we could do something like that as our like dining situation. Obviously it'll have some outdoor dining too, but this would be kind of cute. And it gives us a good excuse to, oh. The vibes are like way off with the purple bar stools. Oh no, okay, that's fine. Um, consider doing a second part to Not So Berry. You know, Indigo, um, the thing about like adding to Not So Berry, when people ask about it a lot, um, the thing about that is that I, I think it will be very difficult for us um, to like add on another generation of Not So Berry or whatever, because at that point it would be so long. Um, oh, the multicolored stools from high school, that's a good idea. But if we, if we like added more generations to Not So Berry, cause it's already 10 generations, like at a certain point, it's too long. <laughs> at a certain point, it's like, like not uh, doable very long, you know? Um, and so it's, I'm, I'm just trying to be wary of that when it comes to like, people ask like, are you gonna add more generations? And I'm like, ooh, <laughs> it's, it's already 10 generations, you know? Um, which is kind of rough. So I don't know. If, if anything, it would be like a not so berry two or something. Uh, as opposed to like a gen 12 or whatever. Oh, this has some light purple. Okay, that's kind of cute. That's that's doable. We'll use a different door than this too. That was just like a placeholder. Um, okay. Oh, I think I just painted an outdoor wall. Colors, purple. Are there any purple fridges? Yeah, there are, but they're kind of expensive, so I'm, I'm getting a little bit nervous about um, the purple appliance situation because these ones are a bit too light colored for me. 
And I don't really want to use the matching stove to this. And then, like, this is very plum, but that's also very much 13,000 simoleons. So, uh, while fun in theory, it's also extremely expensive. Uh, and I want this to be, like, kind of starter home vibes. It doesn't have to be exactly a starter home, but I would like for it to be kind of starter home vibes. We don't have, like, a total budget, but... Oh my god, does this not come in white? You actually are kidding. Does anybody have a good reason as to why they would do that to me? What is your issue, Sims team? Literally, why? Why? Would you not come with a white swatch? Forgive me for complaining, but like... That doesn't make any sense. At all. It's probably better if we get some like wood tones or whatever in here, so fine. Oh, <gasps> cute! Look at that little guy. <laughs> the S in Sim stands for silly. There you go. <laughs> silly, silly Sims team. Oh my goodness. We need a fire alarm. That's actually extremely important. Um, I don't know where I'll put it, but it's I'm serious about that. <laughs> Jen, written, babbling, Maddie, thank you for the subs. The M in Sim stands for missing swatches, yeah. <laughs> the MS at the end, missing swatches, yeah. Um, you're so right about that. <laughs> Shocked you don't have any new fire alarms? I guess, um... Yeah. I, I don't really care to ever get new fire alarms. Like, if they never added a new fire alarm again, you wouldn't catch me complaining. Like, I wouldn't be here like, oh my god, where's the extra fire alarm, <laughs> you know? Um, but uh, that is true that they never added one. That's interesting. Pergola slipping through the wall. Yeah, I know, Hitch. Sure is. It sure is clipping through the wall. Yes, indeed. Um. <laughs> what can you do? The fire alarm is hard coded to be the only one. Oh, you can't make new ones? Interesting. Huh, I wonder why. That's weird. Okay. We're in a- we're in a bad situation. We are in a bad situation right now. <laughs> um, also, I think I want to paint all the walls purple. I like the vibes of that. I don't know. We'll see. We need more purple swatches in this game. Are you trying to tell me this is purple? Because it's not. Is that carpet in the bathroom? Well, it's not gonna stay. It's there temporarily. It was just a, I was just looking at it. I promise. We could just do like a white tile and then like have purple accents in here. It's just annoying. Oh good, I was concerned. I like how, Christine, I like how you tried to play it off. Like you were only concerned because it was carpet and not because it looked like that. I really, really like how you tried to play it off. Like, oh, did you, oh, you're using carpet in the bathroom? That's interesting. And you didn't say anything about the particular carpet that I had placed. <laughs> it's just, oh, carpet, okay. Are you sure that you want to do that? Really? Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, Kayla. Maybe I could get an outdoor shower. No, do I want this? It would be cool. It would be cool, you must admit. But like, I don't know where I would put it. Also, I don't like the sink that came with Island Living, so I'm looking at Tiny Living instead. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, see, the thing is, my, my original vision, if you will, was that there would just be, oops, my original vision was that there would just be like a wall shower like this, because this is functional and it takes up very little space. Um, and so that's kind of what I envisioned we would use. Hi, Snap, are you back? Um, for the sake of like space saving, a purple swatch on that sink. Well, there might be a purple sink, but it might not be good though, is kind of the problem. Oh, there is a slight purple on this. Oh my goodness, I forgot about that. Oh, that's cute. Outdoor shower is more fun. Oh, cat's clawing on her scratching post. And now she's coming over. She has a little uh, cactus scratching post over there. It's kind of cute. You wouldn't know because sometimes she scratches my chair even though she has a scratching post right there, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's only when I'm streaming. She's doing it for attention. Uh, tiny living. Okay. This would be cute. That's pink, not purple. That has purple, but it also has red, which is like, ew. So I might prefer the plain. I mean, this is simple, right? Tommy, Emma, Tuesday, and Jen, thank you for the subs. Has patch notes even come out? Yeah, uh, it's a, there was a few bug fixes in the patch today. It wasn't a huge patch. Um, there were some small bug fixes. Basically, the patch today was like prep for the kits coming out on Thursday. So, um, okay, I will come back to this. For now, I think that's probably fine-ish. Fine-ish. There was a patch today, yeah. Uh, as Again, as prep for the uh, update that's coming out, so. Just some little bug fixes, basically, in that one. Okay, I think I'm gonna give my sim a laptop, because she can use it here on the counter. And that's like easy. Um, and then she's also going to need a bed. Um, we need to think purple, which is kind of scary. Uh, obviously like these kind of things are safe. That's scary. <laughs> oh no, that one's kind of fun. You know what? Why not? It's kind of exciting. I kind of like this one, right? I, I've never used that swatch before. So that's kind of cool. Murphy bed would add to the chaos. Okay, I can't have my Sim die though. If this Sim dies, we're doomed. <laughs> we like actually, we actually can't have this Sim die to the point of like, it's urgent that she can't die. It, we'd have to like close without saving if that happened. It would be really bad if she died. That would be fun though. Okay, speak for yourself. <laughs> I don't think it would be fun. I think it would be a disaster. <laughs> if the legacy heir died, what are we supposed to do then? You're doomed. Um, I guess I can raise this up so it hides the clipping, right? That's kind of my thought process, at least. That's why I was starting to place these. We don't need to have, like, curtain on the other side. It can just be, like, a big, long curtain rod. And then, um, maybe I'll scoot it a little bit closer. Um, or, like, a little bit even closer than that. I don't know. So that way I can still have this here. But that would save us some space. Why do you need a microphone for Plum Gen? You don't, Katie. We're just choosing to, because we think it'll be fun. 
Um, I'm going to explain this like 20 times today, so I'm so sorry those of you that have been here in the whole stream. But uh, basically, we think it would be fun to live in a micro home briefly uh, with this generation of Not So Berry because um, this generation, uh, you have to max like a lot of skills. That's kind of like the whole thing of this generation is like a lot of skill building. Um, trash can? Well, that's we can, we're just going to put one outside, guys. It's really fine. I was just gonna get an outdoor one. They don't get an indoor trash can on a tiny house like this. Does that make you feel better? Um, but yeah, so you have to live in three different worlds over the course of your life in this gen of Not So Berry. And you also have to max like a ton of skills. And so I thought, cause she obviously lived with her family in Mount Komorebi for a long time, in the big family house. She's gonna move out on her own for like a few days in game and like really work on skill building. And then we'll build a new house, a big house, um, that the whole family can fit in and we'll move there with everyone uh, after we're like, you know, done with our micro home uh, fun. <laughs> um, so it's it's just kind of like, we're trying to take advantage of the micro home to do some skill building before we move back into our third and final house with the whole family, so. Um, but, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I kind of like that. That's kind of cute, right? Um, so you want to double it to woohoo and now I'm putting on the other end, so why don't you use a single bed? Because I like how this bed looks, Peachy. I realize I'm putting it at the end. It's okay. <laughs> I know I said I wanted it for woohoo. I like how it looks. Leave me alone. <laughs> I know what I said. I changed my mind. I like this better. I don't want the single version of this. I like this. It looks cute. They'll be fine. They can woohoo in a bush or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's fine. I know what I said. I changed my mind. Uh, okay, this is cute. Can't sim scoot in? I don't think they scoot for woohoo. But I'm not sure. Maybe. Um, well, this way they can sit on the end of the bed and watch TV. Yeah, I don't think they scoot for woohoo. I would be surprised to hear that they did, to be honest, but... Um, I would be happy to be wrong. Shower woohoo also an option? Yeah, well, it would be had I not given my sim this shower where they can't woohoo. So, not really, but am I putting a dresser in? Maybe, we could put one by the door or something. Um, okay, okay. She needs to focus on herself, she doesn't need to woohoo. No, you're absolutely right though. Woohoo is not a good use of our time right now. We got stuff to do. We need to skill build. You thought all showers? Yeah, no, not this one. Um, it's not enclosed, so your sims don't woohoo in that one. Um, unfortunately, because that would be useful, but no. <laughs> Isn't that TV a combo dresser too? Is it a dresser? I knew it was a bookshelf, a uh, radio, and a TV. But is it also a, a dress -er? I don't know. I don't know why I said it like that. Um, okay. We don't really even need a dresser. This addition of a dresser is more like decorative than anything. Okay. Um, we need to think about like other skills that we're gonna be trying to build and like what we need. So she's gonna, she's been working on video gaming She's been working on, um, what else? Ooh, I like that, actually. Like, handiness and stuff, even. But, that's kind of cute. Yoga? Oh, that's right, she'll need a yoga mat. That's fun, though, because there's, like, so many, um... There's so many nice places that we can put it. 
full length mirror maybe that could be useful yeah and she's been working on handiness so um the yoga mat and like the woodworking bench might be kind of useful for us logic guitar oh yeah we could start working on guitar for because we're gonna need that for the entertaining career later um i bet giving her a guitar would be a really good idea should i get a freezer bunny guitar i don't know it's pink some people get really upset when you <laughs> use the wrong shade and you're not so very house <laughs> i like that though that's cute i think um, scoot this over. Save space, you know? Um, okay. What other sorts of wallpaper options do we have? Dancing? Well, we have the radio. So we don't, we need the dancing skill, but we do have a radio built into this TV, luckily. So we don't need to worry about anything for that because she needs that, but uh, that one is built in for us here. We'll be able to work on that one. Um, okay. Um, honestly, these are kind of cute. <laughs> like, it kind of matches the bed too. And I kind of like them. It's kind of fun. Right? I don't know. Sure. Sure. Um, you know what I might want to go do? I'm going to go look at what skills she has so far. So I think that is my plan. Yes. Just to triple check because that might make it easier for us to see uh, and know what to keep in mind. Mount Komarebi. Have I saved yet? Oh, no. <laughs> Yikes. No, I have not saved yet. Thank you for asking. As soon as I load up with this, I'll fix it. <laughs> Ooh, good point there, besties. Good point there. Um, okay. Anyway. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, come on. Please load faster. Please. You're scaring me, game. Okay. All right, skill-wise, she has, obviously we maxed the dancing skill already. We needed to do that. Um, we've been working on cooking. We'll do that still. Uh, we've been working on handiness. We've been working on logic. Video games, wellness. And I guess guitar. That'll be six. Logic is so slow. Yeah, well, that's why we're going to be living in this micro home. Fitness is probably an easy one, too. But the thing is, like, uh, this Sim's dad was in the athlete career. So I just did that. So I don't really have a desire to, like, go through the whole fitness skill again. Um, but I guess something like charisma might be useful. I don't know. Oh, I'm in the wrong spot. That was like a reflex to go back there, Sulani. Knitting, fishing. Oh, that's right. We talked about fishing. We were, okay, that's the other one we were going to do is fishing because she's going to live in Sulani. Oh, so that's fine. So I'll make sure we have a chess table and then we should be okay. Um, did I end up saving? Yeah, I did. Piano for entertainer too. Yeah, guys, you got to keep in mind that we can't do like all of the skills while we're here in this micro home. We got to think about who we're going to, what we're going to focus on, you know? <laughs> so uh, we just have to keep that part in mind. Like what's the main focus? Um, and then we'll, we'll focus on those to start off. And then we can always like, you know, add on, do others and whatnot. Um, but to start we'll we'll need to work on the ones that we fit in here we're not going to be living in this house for like that long so um it won't be like a ton of stuff okay i put like a border there i kind of like that better um i might also give us like maybe like a little plant pot or something right here cooking well yeah obviously she'll do cooking 
Uh, that's an easy one. And we have a kitchen, so we don't need to add, like, any special items into the lot for that, because we already have that, so. Uh, backyard stuff. I wanted this. Maybe I'll put it on the patio part. Oh, that's not purple either. It's okay. Some extra colors could be kind of fun. I really like the vibes of that. Should I size it down? Oh, that's so cute. Okay, yes, we should. For gardening skill? I didn't think we were gonna do the gardening skill. I mean, we could, but I didn't have that in my head as one of the ones that we needed to work on. Um, or that I wanted to work on or whatever. That kind of matches the like gold there. I don't know. I don't know. You just got an ad while you're subbed? It looks like your sub expires. Oh, you can't hear me. <laughs> I don't see the sub badge. So maybe your prime sub expired and you didn't notice. Um, okay. Uh, mm, little purple doormat. It's kind of a lilac-y pinky color, but that's okay. Cause there's only so much that we can do, so. <laughs> Uh, microhomes are great for gardening. Yeah, but I don't really want to pursue gardening um, once we move out of the microhome. So that's not really something that I had considered as one of our major skills because uh, I sort of had other ones that we started working on that I thought we would prioritize, you know? Um, yeah, cooking skill is a really easy one to, to max out because your sims just cook a lot. Like that... That's a, a real bonus of, of it, obviously, is that, like, typically your sims are cooking a fair amount, just, you know, to live. <laughs> so, uh, the cooking skill isn't too difficult to level up, luckily, um, which makes things a little bit easier. Okay, I like that. I don't know if I want the outdoor shower anymore, either. We'll see. We shall see. They have enough money to afford the house. Uh, this house is like 22,000 simoleons right now. So yeah, <laughs> we will be fine there. Um, windows are a different height. What these two? Oh yeah. Um, Woohoo bush, please. Oh, good God. Maybe I'll put it in the back. I need to do this part first. Um, okay. There we go. I don't know what I want to do with the outside over there, so I need to think about that part still. Um, let me look at the bushes. Okay. Um... I don't like these woohoo bushes. They're ugly. It's ruining my vibes. I don't know. I'll think about it. <laughs> um. Okay. Uh. Colors purple. Is there anything? outdoorsy that I might want to add. I mean, we have these lounge chairs. <laughs> I don't know. Put it back by the palm trees, like out here in the middle of nowhere. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe a ceiling fan? Oh, that would be cute. I'm go jumping around too much. We need to think about what we're going to do with the interior. So, uh, no, what am I doing? Decorations, ceiling. We do have a nice one. And I can put it right in the middle of the room. Maybe I'll size it down too. But that'll be fun, because it's gonna be so hot in here. What should I put in this little corner? I'm not sure. Does the plum bob one come in purple? Oh, the plum bob ceiling fan? I don't know. It's like purple and gold. 
which, mm, I don't know. <laughs> Maddie, Nana, Devil, uh, Dream, and Noah, and Finn, and Dubsy, Bailey, Little Birdie, Luli, Ali, uh, Tay, and Mind of Fleen. Thank you all for the subs. Ali with the gifted subs, thank you all so much. Uh, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Uh, I want to get some of my, like, these little cutesy purple things. Oh, some little purple jewelry could be kind of fun. See, like, that's a nice touch. Purple jewelry. We can maybe put this purple cookbook on top of the fridge. Um, I guess a thermostat would be useful. Uh... That could probably go like here or I don't know. I feel like it doesn't need to be like actually accessible by them, right? She should do painting. Yeah, well, she has to do a couple of other careers instead. So I wasn't thinking we would work on the painting skill too much, but maybe we'll see. We shall see. Um, maybe I'll get like the cork board from the kit. The wall isn't painted. Yeah, I know, Jay. I'm not sure how I want to paint it yet. <sighs> We're not done. So, <laughs> we are not done, believe it or not. Still working on it. Still are working on it. Um, I think that's cute and kind of purpley. Laptop from the kit too? I don't know, I like this one, I think. I'm not sure. Put a mirror in the corner, back here in this corner. To me, this corner feels like very tight, which is kind of making me nervous. Um, does, would this fit, like, next to the window, if I swapped it around? Mmm. Mmm. Leafy plant? Yeah, plants are a safe bet. I want to try and think about stuff that might be more, um, functional for us, though. Potentially. But I'm not sure. That's too big. A mic, chessboard, we're gonna put a chessboard outside. Hang on, let me get this plant that I wanted to put over here. Maybe I'll use this one. Do I like that? I think I do. That seems nice. Could I say the skills again if that's okay? Bestie, I don't know. Loads of them. I don't remember them. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's like so many skills that we have to focus on. We're gonna work on mostly, I think, logic, cooking, and guitar, and maybe like video gaming while we're living here though. Um, there's so much stuff. I wasn't planning on doing the painting skill though. I know I keep saying that, but I wasn't planning on doing the painting skill this time around. Um, okay, any sort of purple. That's kind of cute. It's like a little purple touch, I guess. We can stick that in the corner. Fishing, we're gonna do fishing too, that's right. Um, is the cat going to be here too? I wasn't gonna bring the cat, cause I felt, I felt like maybe I should leave the cat um, with the family's house. So I, I didn't think I was gonna bring the cat with us. That's sad. Well, we're only gonna live here for a couple of days. So we gotta keep that in mind, right? Like we, we're gonna be here literally heavy, heavily focusing on skills the whole time. Um, so we don't necessarily need to like give ourselves opportunity for, I don't know. I'm, I don't even intend to have her date while, while we're living here. Like. The boyfriend can wait, you know? I got stuff to worry about. <laughs> Should we do this wallpaper instead? Cause that has like some more pizzazz to it. It matches the back tile wallpaper less, but I kind of like it. I think it looks really good with the bed at least. So I like that part. Um.
Okay, I wanted to scoot this back. Spaced better. I like that. Maybe the purple and blue one? Blue. I guess there is a bit of blue in the... Oh, that to me I don't like as much. This one with this like pinky peachy color, I feel like matches everything better. Wooden bathroom door? We could switch it. I wasn't really sure what color I wanted it to be. That one kind of matches the floors though. The tote bags? Oh, that would be cute too. Okay. Yeah, we're kind of like adding in decorative stuff now at this point. Um, in white maybe? That's cute, I like that. Trash can, they have one outside. They're not gonna have one inside. They don't get one inside. <laughs> Allison, Leah, Kat, thank you for the subs. Um, okay. Okay, what else can we add? Ooh, telescope for logic skill? I guess a telescope could be kind of cute. That's, that's not an indoor activity though. That's an outdoor activity. Um, I feel like I don't like these lights. Oh no. Oh no. Always fun to have a risk of death too. Yeah, <laughs> that's a, that's the fun part of it, is that you never know if your sim's gonna get struck by a meteor. Exciting stuff. <laughs> really fun. Um, okay, I don't know. I didn't want an easel. I don't really think that I'm gonna do. Like, I, honestly, I I don't see myself working on painting. I guess the bonsai tree might be kind of cute to put in the corner. And that would fill up the corner nicely. But I wasn't planning on doing the gardening skill either, so. Why not a mirror? I'm trying to think about stuff that's more useful because we've got mirrors elsewhere. Um, cross stitch, that's too small, too small. I don't really want to paint though. I don't think that I'm gonna use the painting skill, so I should just stop putting that stuff in here. Um, I, I don't see myself using the painting skill, like, at all, if I'm being honest. Um, okay. Wellness? Well, we're already doing that, so... I don't know. Microphone? Yeah. Yeah. Can move the chair into that corner? I had the chair there before and I didn't like how it looked. Um, okay. Okay, maybe we could get like a funky tree of some sort. Island living. This is the tree that I have in the front. But that's okay, might be fun to have it back here too. It fills up some space. Mixology, or are we doing that already? Ah. I wasn't planning on doing the mixology skill. I don't think that we need a new skill though. I know this is like so, I'm not being helpful because I'm like talking it out and then everyone's giving suggestions and I'm like, oh, we don't need another skill. <laughs> but <laughs> um, I feel like we we honestly might not need like any more skill items than we have, but we already have a guitar actually. I placed that in there already. Um, and we also have to keep in mind that like we only have so much time in a day, so we won't be able to do everything while we're living here. <laughs> while I would like to, we won't be able to do it all, <laughs> so... <laughs> we need to be slightly reasonable with ourselves there, uh, and remember that we can only do one thing at a time. You know? Um... Woohoo bush in the back? I've got a woohoo bush right here. That's actually a woohoo bush, believe it or not. We haven't maxed photography skill yet, no. Um, maybe I could just get, like... 
fish tank? Oh, that might be kind of cute. It's gonna be too big. So I might need to do like a fish bowl. Which is also wrong. But... Put a poof there, another seating option. We could do something like that. Could also scoot it over more, I guess. Small piano thing. I think that the keyboard is too big, even for this. I don't know if you can tell, but it's not like tiny, so. We're not gonna do knitting. We already kind of figured out the skills that we need. Um, we're mostly just thinking what could go in the corner and the knitting basket would be too small to fill that anyway. So we'd have to add more than just the knitting basket no matter what. Um, okay, I'm gonna get a little outdoor uh, setup. I would like to have a grill. I think a grill would be nice. Actually, I think this one has some cute swatches. Yes, absolutely. And then colors, purple, pile of clothes, keep it real. Oh, we could do some clutter like that. You know what, you might be onto something with that because that could be kind of cute. Blarfy maybe? Well, my Sim's gonna be an adult, so she won't need Blarfy as much. But that would be kind of fun um, if we had a Sim that could actually use it, but unfortunately. Um, maybe I will do, ooh. Yeah, actually, honestly, I think a pile of clothes would be kind of a funny addition. I wouldn't be surprised. She probably would have a pile of clothes. Um, what should I do it like this? I don't know. Let me get a hamper. But we could do a little hamper and I'll put it like, you know, fill in the space nicely. And then we can do some mess. And that'll be cute. It is, it's her first time living alone. Like, to me that seems like kind of a fun idea. And her dad has the slob trait. So like, it's kind of funny, maybe that like rubbed off on her. <laughs> you know, like maybe, maybe that's his, uh, his impact is that <laughs> she's also uh, a little bit messy or something, I don't know. Um, I would love if I could fit, like, I don't know, this stuff in a way that it doesn't look silly. I wonder if she can still get around past this, because that would be so cute. I would, like, actually really like this. This hamper to me is like, that looks like a stack of folded or like barely folded clothes, I should say. That color's even good. Maybe she's been working on folding, but she hasn't put it away yet. And we have that stuff in the corner. Is she going to move out as a teen or will you age her up? Oh, she's not going to move out as a teen. Absolutely not. We'll, we'll keep, uh, we're going to like live up our teenage years as much as we can before we move out. <laughs> um, but... Uh, once she's old enough, like when she ages up, we can move her out. I, I want to stay at home while we're a teen as long as possible because we can like take advantage of being a teen, you know? That makes the most sense to me at least. We don't have any kitchen clutter because I don't have a lot of counter space, so... I like this though. I feel like this is okay. Thought she'd already aged up. I think she's still only a teen, but we're gonna age her up. Um, I think she might have like one or two days left or something. Um, like I think we're almost there, but not a hundred percent. So, okay. What else do we want to add? Like how, how are we feeling about this part out here? Is this good? The snack box from the clutter kit on the fridge. Oh, that would be cute. I would like that. This kind of thing might be kind of a fun little detail. What's her name? Uh, Raisin? 
Okay, kids. Decorations. Clutter. That's like the jewelry thingy. This might even be better looking than, or the makeup, I mean, I don't know. No. This is the snack pack thing. Oh, that's such a small item. <laughs> that's kind of good though. It's, it is floating a tiny bit, but just don't look at it. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, don't, don't think about it like that. It's fine. I'm gonna do a little tiny, like, um, I wanna get soap. A little tiny soap. Is it under the bathroom category? Oh, sorry. Oh no. I did mean to yawn. Uh-oh. I made all you yawn, probably. Speaking of soap, wouldn't it be nice if we had a, a bathroom clutter kit? What's that? They announced a bathroom clutter kit today? No way! Oh. Ah. That's fixed. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! What are the chances? <laughs> okay, maybe we could get like a little rug. That would be good. What a coincidence! <laughs> Whoa, is there a video on it? Yeah, I wonder if Lil Simsy uploaded a video about the announcement to youtube.com forward slash Lil Simsy today. We should check. What's that? She did? Wow. <laughs> and there's a link right there in the chat so you can go watch it if you're interested. No way. <laughs> Seem like such odd kits, don't they? It really is like a, um, it's kind of random, I guess, it feels like to me. The kits, like, I, I guess it's not that random, but it does feel a little bit like, an interesting choice, you know? Like, it feels like it came out of nowhere, these two kits. But I like the idea of a bathroom kit a lot, actually. That one excites me. I feel like I'll probably get a lot of use out of that. And it's gonna have light switches, um, which is super cool. They said they're gonna add a light switch to the base game as well. Um, so we will all have light switches. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's meant to have light switches being added. So that'll be cool. Uh, oh my, Brianna, Monique, and Carry On, and Daddy, thank you for the subs. Pierre as well, thank you so much. Okay. Uh, I think, I don't know how much more we can add in here. Obviously, I want to get like our little yoga mat somewhere, and we'll fill up a lot of it more landscaping wise. Um. Have we ever gotten new underwear for Sims? Do you know what? Honestly, Christine, I don't think we have. I, I don't know when they last gave us new underwear. And so for that reason, the underwear kit is kind of cool. I think that to me, it just seems like something that I don't know if I'll get a lot of use out of. Um, and so I feel a little bit like, oh, is it worth the money? <laughs> uh, but obviously it depends. Um, what how how you are and how you play the game you know because you might have like an exact opposite feeling about that um you might like really get a lot of use out of this and be super excited for it um but i don't know it's I, it's like underwear that's intended to be worn as like like sleepwear right that's why it's symptomates um and that's kind of cool but I know I just don't use that stuff that often, but also I don't use it often because we don't have a lot of it. So maybe that's why, I don't know. It just feels like, I don't really care about cast stuff in general. So <laughs> I'm the wrong person to ask about this. I'm, I'm gonna be like immediately like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Cause I'm just not a big uh, cast person. You always have undies as a second or third PJs option in your game. That's true. That's kind of a fun idea to give your sims like an underwear second PJs option. That's an idea, I kinda like that. Um, okay, I placed those around, that looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna get a little plant or something. So I see the list of all the kit items. Yeah, I saw it leaked, but I choose not to look at that stuff because I prefer to uh, be able to see the kit when it actually comes out like spoiler free. <laughs> so 
Uh, I, I choose not to look at the list of kit items when they are available to see. Because I don't want to see, basically. I always I see it on Twitter and I'm like, oh, scroll, scroll! <laughs> I don't want to see it! Um, I prefer to avoid um, that sort of leak, if possible. Because that's like a serious leak, when it's like the list of items, you know? Um, I don't really want to be shown all of that in advance. I'd like to see it for myself when it actually comes out, you know? I think the little bit of lights right there is cute. Yeah, that's true. We only really have like one kind of lingerie piece, so it might be fun to have more. I like that idea. Um, it's definitely a cool idea, because this sort of thing we just, we really, again, don't have a lot of. So it's definitely a cool uh, concept that they're adding in. Is that like coming off the edge? It is, but you can't tell, so I don't care. Um, scoot it over a little. Well, that's fine. Okay, good. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I don't know. We'll see. Wish we, I don't know. Do you think it'll change the default underwear the Sims get when you go into cast? Oh, I don't know. I, I'm gonna go with, I don't think so, but maybe, um, do you guys think it's done? I'm like trying, we have an empty counter. We probably shouldn't add to that too much. Like, yeah, I kind of doubt that it would, um, I left a string of lights on the side. Oh, I did. I think it might be done. I really like this. Purple micro home. And it's not too expensive. It's 26,000, which is doable. Um, I built a tiny house for the plum generation of not so very of the not so berry challenge. I will put that on the gallery. Maybe I'll hashtag not so berry too. I think that's really cute. Okay, that'll be fun for us to play in for a couple days. Um, tour please? Yeah, I'll show you one Fruit Loops, but there's not much to see. <laughs> it's really small. Uh, so here's the outside. We have a few skill building things like a yoga mat. Uh, there's a chess table and stuff. We also put like this telescope. There's a woodworking table. Um, over here we have a grill and like a little table and a trash can. Uh, and then on the inside, you come in. It's only one room really. When you walk in, there's like a little dresser. We have the bedroom, living room area. You can watch the TV, play the guitar. Uh, we have the kitchen with an island. So you have a laptop too. And then we have a little tiny bathroom. So. There's not, like, loads of stuff going on in here, um, but uh, this is the best we can do. Low-key windows look very pink in that lighting. Amber, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you filter by purple, these windows come up. You've hit a sore subject because somebody was very snotty and yelled at me about using pink windows. How dare you? Um, it was like a paragraph, so I'm a little sensitive to these comments today. It's just the sunset that's making it look bright. This is the thing, besties. Um, purple, there's many shades. It's The Sims 4. There's some that are more pink, there are some that are more blue. It just, this is the way that life works. So, you can only do what you have. <laughs> so. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, there's not a lot of purple swatches in general in The Sims, so. Um, we don't even have purple walls that we could use. We have a university shower inside, Allison, so there is a shower. Um, it's a, t oh, I'll show you, oh my god. <laughs> if people are gonna argue, I'll show you. Um, there's a, a university shower in the tiny bathroom. Um, <laughs> hang on, hang on. She wasn't trying to be mean. Who, the first, the person who yelled at me? Oh, Bestie, I don't know if you saw the messages, but their messages were mean. <laughs> that person was mean and they were very rude about it. This is uh, this is the shower. It's functional, I'll do this all the time, don't worry. Um, anyway, it's really easy to be constructive uh, and say you don't like something, not in an aggressive, mean way. I don't know, Besties, it's probably a safe bet to not defend people who I say got banned for being mean. <laughs> 
Uh, it's really easy to be like, I'm not sure about those windows without like, you know, calling you stupid for using the windows. <laughs> it's like, it's really easy to not be aggressive when you're talking about a Sims build. I hate to say it, but it's really easy. <laughs> Okay, anyway, uh, we're not gonna move in there yet because I have a I have a not so or I have a shell challenge build to finish um, But I want to go see how much money we have really quickly Basically the idea is that just the one sim's gonna move out into that house for a few days And then we'll come back with the big family and then move into a big house that we'll build for everyone to live in together um, But anyway <laughs> Uh, Gabby, Chelsea, Anna, Cricket, Austin, and Osh, and Ashton, and Jordan, and Raspberry, thank you for the subs. Um, okay. Come on. Come on. Uh, so, we have 8,000 simoleons. We are still a teen. Um, and we have the whole house. So we'll be able to afford it, it should be fine. But, that's the idea. We will move there, um, once we, uh, age up and stuff. So, when I'm building the other house, like the one that we're gonna play with after this, um, I don't know, a couple weeks, next week or something. It just depends like when, when we are ready to move again, I guess. Um, you know, we can't really build the, the next house until we're ready to move into it, so, um, we'll do that as soon as we're ready. Um, okay, I'm going to finish that shell challenge build. Where's the other family gonna live? They're gonna stay in the current house, Jewel. They'll just stay there for the whatever four days that I'm living in the micro home. And then we'll just come back with them. We're moving out on our own very briefly. <laughs> very, very briefly. Just so that we can um, get that done. Where was I building yesterday? Tartosa. Copperdale. Sorry, I don't know. I called it the wrong thing. I was building in Copperdale. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Anyway, we were working on yesterday our new shell challenge build, which, oh, I need to bring us in here. Which, if I'm being honest, um, I don't love, but we're trying. We are trying. Oh, select at least one sim to continue. Hang on. Um, Lisa Springs. This is the sim that I use for my test video on the height slider mod. So that's fun. <laughs> uh, okay, I need to make it like, oh, I don't have mods. Oh my God, hang on, I need to re-enable my mods. I already pressed the button, but I need to close and reopen the game. Oh no. Uh, Hope, I am absolutely going to watch Love Island. Thank you very much. It started yesterday, but I haven't seen yesterday's episode yet. I'm gonna watch it though. Thank you for asking. <laughs> when are shell tours? Yeah, we're gonna do the shell tours on the 28th of January. So, couple weeks from now, couple Saturdays from now. All right, let me change my stream title. Um, finishing our new shell challenge. Um, okay. Okay, we reload and we try again. We reload and we try again. Come on. Did I watch yesterday? No, I didn't have time last night. Um, Miv actually came over yesterday, last night, so, uh, we played board games and I can't very well be like, Hey guys, um, <laughs> do you want to, like, watch Love Island? <laughs> Thoughts on that? The answer is probably no, so I didn't bring it up. So, did I win at the board games? Well, we didn't play like a winning type of board game. Um, it's it's more the kind of board game that's like cooperative. Uh, it's called the Horizons of Spirit Island, what we played yesterday. Um, and it's, it's similar to the Stardew Valley board game in that like everybody is working together to achieve one specific goal. Um, the goal being to like stop these invaders that are coming to your island. Um, but it's a fun game. I like that kind of thing. I think co-op games are kind of fun because everybody is like working together to achieve something as opposed to like somebody losing, you know? Especially if you're new and you haven't played it before, when you're playing cooperatively, everyone's here to help, you know? But if you're, 
If you're playing on your own <laughs> and you're here to win, <laughs> good luck. Uh, yeah, there's a Stardew Valley board game. It's a fun one. Um, okay, anyway. Um, this is what we were working on. It's a cafe in the high school years world, kind of pink and teal themed, uh, kind of funky on the inside. We're not done yet. Um, and this is the shell that we built yesterday, the new shell from yesterday. Uh, we've been kind of struggling with it. Took us a lot yesterday. Um, it was painful in many ways, but we're working on it. <laughs> uh, does it serve boba? No, it's, it's not like a boba shop. I chose to, um, not do a boba or like thrift shop because in my mind there's already one here in this world so i was trying to do like a different community lot um i was trying to do a different community lot uh in an attempt to like make more things that we can see in this area um so anyway <laughs> um okay upstairs apartment it's actually gonna be like an upstairs gaming space um, that's the, the plan that I had at least, was to try and make like a gaming space. Maybe like, a, I would say arcade, but we don't really have a lot of arcade machines. It's gonna have like maybe the ping, the ping pong table or whatever. Um, anyway, let's just get to work, shall we? Let's just get to work on this, see what we can do. Uh, I'm gonna get some hanging plants in here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um... Yeah, this one's been rough. <laughs> this one has been rough. This build was uh, making me nervous yesterday <laughs> when I was trying to do it. I was stressing myself out, so. Um, okay, bb.show hidden objects. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to bb.move objects on. Can you download a house if you don't have all the elements used to build it? Like from the gallery? Yeah, absolutely. The only thing is if you're missing um, if you're missing stuff that was used to make the build, uh, when you download it, it's gonna, like, either replace those items with something else, or, um, it just will be missing it. Um, it'll, like, not have anything there, um, in that spot, which isn't necessarily, like, a terrible thing. It's, like, fine, um, depending on, like, how much stuff you're missing, right? So, like, for example, if the person built like a house and they used like one object from Nifty Knitting and it was like a, a decorative thing on the wall and you're missing it, it's like, you know, not gonna really cause any problems um, for you if you download the lot. But say they built like uh, an entire kitchen using the like country kitchen kit and you don't have it, obviously it's gonna like look really different um, if it like replaces it with base game counters or something. But um, it'll still work, like it's not gonna break anything. And it'll tell you like what items it uses from which pack if you click on the thingy on the gallery, which kind of helps too. Um, so you can like expand it and see like if it if it ended up being just like a picture or if it was a full kitchen set, you know? <laughs> um, Love Island USA or UK? Love Island UK, I've never seen Love Island USA. I only love seen Love Island UK. Um, I was gonna put two computers here um, so that you can maybe study there or whatever. Um, that was kind of the original thought that I had. But, I don't know, what do you think? I feel like that's okay. Um, there's a lot of seats in here. This is good. This is very, very good. Okay. A new shell challenge? Yeah, we started it yesterday. Um, I'm honestly really, I think, happy with how it's turning out. It's kind of cool. So, okay. Should we get, like... Oh, maybe I could use, like... Two of those. Should I do that? Get a funky little plant on it? I don't know. I can't tell. I don't know what's too much. Would it be better if it was like facing each other? Could it be like two opposite colors? <gasps> Wait. 
Can I have this like overlap it a little bit as if it were like a coffee table? We're not making a micro home right now. We're working on finishing the, the cafe that we finished yes or we started yesterday. Um, Cause I, I started this yesterday and then we didn't finish it. So we're working on finishing it now. We just finished building the micro home that we were working on. Um, like literally like two seconds ago, I just finished building that. <laughs> um, okay. I've seen the circle. Yeah, Bubble, it's a fun show. I, I enjoy the circle. I like that one. Um, I, we've been watching this season. Um, I've enjoyed it. Um, teal tail by the pink couch and pink tail by the teal couch. That's kind of what I was thinking, but I thought I might use a different table. I thought I might use like the little tile one instead for this side, but that's like a brighter pink, I guess, which is maybe not ideal. Um, could be the yellow swatch. We've been using yellow in some places. Maybe I could do that. I actually kind of like that. <laughs> it's kind of good. Um, what should I put on this giant wall? I almost want to like do something like this. The problem is we don't have four swatches of cupcakes. We have three swatches of cupcakes. But like, that is so cute, isn't it? Can I do, can I have one of them duplicated? Is that fine? Cause it's kind of cute. Um, I want to get a fun light. That's a cool one. Okay. We'll want to get some funky lights above this too. Just do two of them twice maybe? Really? Because I kind of liked having the different swatches. I mean, we could do just the pink and the mint, but... Okay, fine. Um, maybe I'll raise this up a little. Okay. How the person working get behind the food thingy? They go through this door. They come from the outside. Yeah, uh, you can change the wall height in the shell challenge. You are welcome to change the wall height. Um, the only thing you can't do is like add or delete the exterior walls. Um, but you are uh, able to change the wall height, make it taller or shorter or whatever. Um, but if you'll ever do kits with Sims content creators, they actually did one, a couple. They've done a couple collab kits. Uh, they have one that just came out with my friend Jesse. They collabed uh, with a couple other Simmers for like a cast kit and another build kit. So they've done a few collab kits. I don't know if uh, either of these kits that are coming out are collab kits, but um, it seems like something that they're, they've been like experimenting with, which is kind of fun. Um, Cause I, I feel like it's cool when they collab with people. It makes for, um, a good pack, I feel like. Uh, for the record, those people, they don't get like paid when you buy the kit. They got paid like for their collaborative efforts. Um, like think of it like a consultant. Um, does that make sense? <laughs> but they, they did not get paid. Like they don't get like a portion of the kit sales, you know? Um, okay. Okay, uh, Courtney, Edgy, J, Boss, Little Tika, Neve, Pearl, Earring, Abyss, and Gabby, thank you for the subs. Can you add half walls or a fence to make a balcony? Yeah, half walls and fences are fine, just not like full walls. Um, the full walls, we try not to add stuff like that. Um, okay, I am kind of unsure about this, but I'm feeling like Maybe I should add in counters. Just the problem being the fact that this has to be open so they can get in here. But I feel like maybe it would be better if we had like 
something slight, you know, as like some extra decorative pieces or whatever. Cause it's kinda, there are only two over here. Yeah, cause I deleted one of them, right? I moved it. We'll, we're gonna replace that with something else now. Um, maybe this is better. Maybe there could be like a hanging plant or something. It's not even anymore. So we have to like sort of embrace that, I guess. Oh, this comes in like a minty color. That has weird shadows on it. Do you see that? How odd. Okay, well, that could be kind of cute. That makes it feel better back there somehow. That's so weird. Okay. And then maybe I'll look at some of the other get together stuff because these are like some, I don't know, decorative objects as if we need like another coffee maker. Maybe we could get an ice cream maker back here. I don't know, why not? Right? That seems like fun. Oh. Put this like, maybe I'll get like paper towels or something. Ice cream makers exist? Yeah, the ice cream maker came with, um, the ice cream maker came with the cool kitchen stuff pack. That was like the whole gameplay thing of cool kitchen was that it had an ice cream maker, which is kind of cute. It was a fun little touch. So. Okay, well that way you can make ice cream if you want it. <laughs> if you wanted to come to this cafe, you can get ice cream. It is possible. Um, this whole place looks like an ice cream shop, so. Um, maybe if we got like, something like this. That actually is the exact right color scheme. So that could work. Mugs from the clutter kit. Yeah, but the those look like dirty. They don't look like um, the kind of mugs you would find at a place like this, I feel like. That's why I was avoiding doing it. I know that they have like a plain swatch, but doesn't that seem like an odd addition for a place like this? Maybe we could put a couple up there in like some fun colors. Um, on the back counter with a sink. Oh, I should put a sink back here. I hadn't really even considered that, but I think you're right. There probably should be a sink. There probably should be a sink. Well, that fills the counters. <laughs> There's a base game mug rack, I know, but uh, that one's not as fun either. Your local cafe uses ceramic mugs? Well, I don't mean that like uh, cafes don't use mugs. What I mean is, it's like, why is there just three mugs sitting there? You know, like, I don't mean like these mugs, no cafe would have mugs. I mean, like, why is it just like three? <laughs> you know, like why, I don't know. It just feels like I wanna have like a, something more, but, cause why not? Guys, the counters are full. Why are we arguing about this? You're stressing me out. I was just trying to tell you I didn't know if I wanted to put them and I still put them, so it's fine. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> okay. Um, there's no space for a mug rack either. We've already got stuff. It's fine, it's fine. Um, okay, I want the, is it from Get Together? Yeah. This little case is very cute and I want it. Um, all right. I like that. It's growing on me. I think this wall sucks. I think this area is boring. So, we'll see what we can do with this little space. Oh, 
I also want to do like something fun on this wall. No. No. Is that blue? Do I want that? Maybe. There's a little bit of blue in here. I like the cafe lot type. I agree. I think the cafes are a really fun lot type in this game. It's a nice little touch. Um, okay. Let me think about other little things. Like this little rug might be nice to fill in over here. Oh, you think the mosquito wallpaper has good stuff for pastel? I don't know if I've tried that. <gasps> oh, that is fun. That might even look better than the other one because this one's like fun, but it's only at the bottom. That has like more that fills the whole wall. So that might be kind of good. I really like that. And we could put this little guy inside on the wall. I like that area. I feel like this side looks cute. Um, mosquito, interesting. Never thought I'd see the day. What else do you have? Some of this stuff is kind of cute. This is like a little bit, um, I don't know, hang on. Maybe I could like add this into the shelf by like custom placing it. <laughs> that might be good. Let me try and decorate this shelf a little bit more just in general. This'll help. We'll fill it up kinda, you know? Um, maybe this llama thing. Okay, well that's... <laughs> that looks terrible. When will you see it that low down though? Oh, maybe it could go up here. Uh, it's slotting. I forgot about that. Hang on. I'll fix it. That's fine. Clips a little bit like that. Honestly, I think that's okay. I think it doesn't need to be completely full. It's a nice little touch. Um, maybe I will use some brick on this wall. And maybe I'll do like a curtain or something too. Cause I feel like, oh, we don't have a lot of curtains in here, but I don't know, it just looks like Bland. I'm trying to think of ways that we can make it feel bigger. And we have a little bit that we can do. Mirror over the table. Yeah, I'm going to. I previously had some art there, but then I uh, switched it up. So we need to pick something else to go there instead. Uh, we could always do like a funky mirror like this. That one's kind of cool. It comes in pink too. Yeah, it's a cafe. It's like a coffee shop, this one. I don't build uh, cafes very often in The Sims, so this has been kind of fun to do. I like it with the curtain too. I feel like that really helps. I think the downstairs might even be good. We can always add some more to it, but I haven't touched the upstairs yet, so. <laughs> really quickly, I think that maybe I should do some like minor upstairs touches because <laughs> we haven't done that and then I probably should so hang on <laughs> one second we can't delete this wall um because that's one of those things that I uh I stuck us with when I um did the shell I put that there and I said that you can't remove it so what are you doing upstairs we're gonna put like some sort of games space. Um, it's gonna be sort of like an arcade type of area a little bit up here. That was kind of the original thought process at least. Um, 
because we have like uh, not necessarily arcade things, but we have like um, I don't know, like a games table, ping pong, which has really ugly swatches. Um, this thing has ugly swatches too. There's like this thing. That was more of like the original vibes that I was envisioning. Oh, that's fun how it's pink. I feel like this ping pong table could work. I think it gets the, the point across, you know? Um, the wall is load bearing and it can't be moved. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jake, uh, Anastasia, Courtney, Angie, thank you all for the subs and bits and things too. Okay. Um, we'll see if we can use this guy somewhere. Maybe it can just go on this wall. Cause like, what else are we going to do? And then darts. Oh, that could be kind of cool. I would probably like that if we did a dartboard or something. Thrift shop upstairs? No, so I, I'm trying to like really embrace the games room concept uh, as opposed to like a thrift store sort of vibe because we really, really want to make this like a, a serious teen hangout kind of area. Um, which is why I was trying to think of like games and stuff they could play together as opposed to like putting you know, the thrift store items, because for the same reason I didn't make it into the boba store, because we already have one of those in this world, like there already is one of those in Copperdale. I'm trying to think of like other things that we could add that might be a fun touch, you know? Vending machine against the little wall. I like a vending machine idea, that's fun. What should it sell, the Simmies? I feel like the Simmies one is the perfect color scheme. But then the foosball table doesn't really fit that well. Um, I guess we could put it here. That would still work, right? Because they stand on either side of it. That upstairs wall is killing you. I know, this wall is horrible. I'm so sorry that I put this here. Trust me, I regret it so much. <laughs> A board game table instead? Oh, that might be better, because we might be able to get better, like, colors on it. If we did, like, board games instead. The dartboard would have been fun, too, but there's not a lot of space. Somebody had to go and make this place really small. Who? How could she? Don't wake the llama game table for kids. Does it have to be for kids? Or like, does this work for anyone? But it's also for kids? Because the card table's ugly and this one's not as like, works for everyone, okay, good. I haven't used that thing in a while, so I kind of had forgotten. Um. Oh, this could be cute with the alternating pink and yellow chairs. Because I've been trying to get more yellow in here. Right? Oh yeah, and the kids can use the adult tables. So I don't see why they wouldn't be able to use that one. You're right. Um, okay. Hmm. All right. Maybe if we got a plant, can they walk through that? Yeah, they're pretty good about being able to walk around areas like this. Um, I can maybe try and scoot it a little bit further back so it's not perfectly centered anymore, but they should be able to get through there. Um, we can get some like fun lights. Outside wallpaper, what, is it messed up? Is that what you mean? I like that above the stairs. I think that's good. Um, by the game table door. Oh, right here. I see. 
Music upstairs. Oh, I didn't put music anywhere. That is a good call. Um, okay. Uh, cafe items. What sort of music should we play? Maybe, maybe just pop music. Like that's probably a safe bet for a build like this, right? Um, dartboard on back of brick wall, like over here. I worry that there's not enough space for it because your Sims need like um, a lot of standing space for the dartboard. Let me show you. But do you see like where it puts this? I don't know, that part makes me a little bit nervous about it. Uh, I'm gonna use this up here because this fills in the wall a little bit more. I don't really like how it's uh, <laughs> visible from the top. I'll only put the curtain on that one. I think that's okay. If you turn the arcade game and then put the dartboard on the original wall, like the arcade game back here, we could. It might fit nicely back there, but I don't know. Like on here where we originally had it. Oh, did you mean this brick wall? I forgot I had this horrible wall. Yeah, that's still like a little bit tight, but the dartboard probably could go here. That would probably be fine on this wall. They can use it, I think. I think. I don't know. Should we get some of those like little, like this chair kind of looks like a bean bag to me. Um, maybe I could try and put like two of them in our little color scheme. Kind of lined up, you know? That might be kind of cute, little comfy chairs. Your sim should still be able to get around this. Um, this feels like a lot of open space to me, I guess is the problem that I'm experiencing now. Like it feels kind of empty. I don't think it would hurt if we had like a, a bunch of chairs like scattered around. Um, maybe if I got one of these in the middle, in yellow perhaps, because we have a little bit of yellow going on in here. Um, a pack of those chairs from, they're from the high school pack, believe it or not. Uh, they're from this pack. Could turn that wall into a pillar, like a full pillar. Yeah, we could, but it's, it's a little bit tight space-wise, um, which is what I was kind of worried about. Like, I feel like we can't have the game table anymore if we did that. I guess we could maybe put the game table on the patio or something, but I feel like if we make it into a full pillar, it makes it so that we can't have the, the full thing. What about a, the photo booth? Isn't the photo booth like huge? Enclose the vending machine in the wall pillar. That's an idea. We could like try and use that space. The wall that I had to keep is still there. Huh. Okay. And then we can put the little dining chairs Okay, you could put carpet upstairs maybe. Yeah, I probably should maybe switch the flooring up here to something different, but I just don't know like what I want it to be like. Cause I feel like that's kind of clashy with the walls that we have. And this is just ugly, you know? Actually, I kind of like it. Oh no. I've never used this before. This is your most hot take yet? <laughs> I don't know, I don't 
hate it. Carpet sounds sticky though. Yeah, but in a lot of places like this, they do have carpet. I've seen it before in real life. It's not even like unrealistic. So maybe we're onto something with this. Look, here's my thought process on it, okay? When else would we get a chance to use this horrible carpet? Like, realistically, this might be the only room I will ever build where it isn't unreasonable. Right? <laughs> like, this almost feels like this is our only shot. I want to change the lighting up here to be more, like, pink-toned as well. And I also might get, like... How about some of those little wall decor things from the high school pack? High school years had, like... Um... Oh, cute. Sorry, I meant, like, this stuff. I was thinking maybe I could get a couple cute little neon signs. Even if there was just one, that thing's kind of cool looking. And it helps with the space. Okay, set color and intensity, this light, pink. Set color and intensity, this light, pink. Wait. Okay. It's kind of fun. It's a cool arcade space, right? I think it's kind of fun. I don't know when else we would do something like this. So I, I think we should keep it. And then this bathroom, uh, I'll probably put a couple of the same decor things that we did downstairs. This bathroom sucks. Should I make this bathroom pink too? So that I don't need to look at it. Whoa, that's scary. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay. Pink neon mosquito light. Oh, that's an idea. There is like, is it under lighting? Wall lights. We do have this thing. This is like more three-dimensional than the little flower thing. So that might be better. Maybe I'll make it teal though. Cause there's a lot of pink going on. That seems like a, a really good use of the space with some neon. I'm wondering from high school years, isn't there like strip lights? Because maybe I could use this like on the top of this wall and make that teal or something. Just, oh, it's like unnoticeable. Okay, well. Should we do that or is it not worth it? I liked the vibes originally. Oh, you can tell it better towards the corner where it's darker. Use the base game ones instead. Yeah, maybe I should. Um, what am I looking for? Base game, tricolor, spotlights. Why am I not seeing what I'm looking for? Have I like scrolled past it? What's wrong with me? We also have those LED panels. Actually, now that I think about it, we also have these. Which, that's totally random. Ceiling lights, what am I doing? Ceiling lights, ceiling lights, ceiling lights, ceiling lights, ceiling lights. I don't think I've ever seen this before in my life. Sorry, I'm getting so distracted, but like, honestly, have I ever seen that? Probably not. Um, we could do a funky light above this. 
That might be a fun touch. Sorry, I'm... There's no pictures upstairs? Like, there's not enough artwork? I've got a couple things. I need to add more for sure. Um, maybe if we had, like, a... Oh my god, I'm getting so distracted. I'm not doing what I meant to be doing. <laughs> oh, I want a cow plant poster. It's perfect. I think this wall is boring to me. Like, this whole thing, the vibes are way off. And it's hard for me to... Um, I don't know. But I don't know what to do with it. That's kind of what I'm struggling with. I think the darts, I, I think the idea of the darts is fun, but in reality, the darts might not be the vibe. You know? Why did they update today and not change at all? It was a bug fix update, Moonlight. They fixed some bugs in it. They do updates about once a month, typically, that are, are like small bug fix updates. Could do the slats here again. Oh, I forgot we didn't use the slats upstairs at all. Oh, that's the tall ones. I need to get the short ones. But you're right, we didn't use the slats anywhere. So we could we could just make this be a plain wall and then put the slats on it to have like some more pizzazz to it, if you will. Maybe I'll do like a teal because there's a lot of pink back there. Is the floor gradient or is it just the lighting? It's just the lighting on this one, mostly. Um, maybe I'll do a more fun little light above this, too. <gasps> too bright! Is that color intensity this light? There. Oh, hang on. I need to scoot that over so it's not visible. I like this little arcade section. It's kind of cool. This, by the way, if you're just tuning in, this lot is a cafe, but we're putting like a little um, arcade sort of vibe at the top. Um, I might just do some of the chairs that we had before. Um, okay, just a little table with some chairs up here. And maybe like a little plant pot or something. Can they get past the table? What, this? Typically, Sims are a little bit smarter than you might think. Um, I guess I could always make it just three wide to be safe, but typically Sims are a little bit better about getting around than you might anticipate. Um, but we could always scoot it over, I guess, if you're worried about it. Give Billie Jean hangout lot trade. That's the whole point, Ziggy. Yeah, is that it, I haven't done any lot trades yet, but the whole point of this is that it's meant to be like, um, it's meant to be like a high school or sort of hangout. So, three chairs is more the vibe too. You liked it more with four. Okay, I'm getting some mixed signals. I liked how it looked better with four, but I I guess it might be a little bit nicer if it's like not uh nerve-wracking to people that your sims can't get through i'm pretty sure they can get through but if people are like less worried about it it might be better <laughs> you know maybe i'll do like all yellow chairs then if we're gonna do just the three because i haven't put a lot of my yellow accents up here we have a couple but This room is fun. Okay. Um, maybe I'll put a laptop on this. Like your sim has come out here to work or something. Get some peace and quiet upstairs. And then it's an extra computer. Yeah, with the sliding door and the vending machine, it was kind of tight with the four chairs. So it's probably better to not have it. Uh, backyard. Okay. This will be cute. Comes in some nice colors. Feeling good about that. Is this gonna be on the gallery? Yeah, I put all my bills in the gallery. It'll be on the gallery probably in a couple minutes. <laughs> Once we're done. 
Um, I'm not sure if we should add much else for the sake of it not becoming like nightmarishly busy. Make those lights pink too. What, downstairs? I don't, I wasn't intending for the lights downstairs to all be pink. Um, one wall was not painted. Are you sure it's not like weird lighting bugs? Outside you think one wall is not painted. Are you sure it's not like weird lighting bugs? Bathroom downstairs. The bathroom downstairs is not painted properly. Um, looks okay to me. Or you want me to make the lighting in the bathroom downstairs funky? I don't know. We also haven't put a lot of like outdoor lighting. I don't know if I like it or not. I can't tell. Maybe I like it. I feel like the downstairs should be a little bit more calm though. How do you edit light colors? You have to do it in live mode um, and then click on the light and then press set color and intensity and then like update it. Oh, you thought it was cool, the bathroom lights? I can't tell if it's scary or not. Um, okay. Uh, I think it's too scary. <laughs> I gotta go back. I think it's a little bit much. Okay, well, we can think about some, like, slight... outdoor lighting. Okay. Um... Always called it live mode, like, alive. That's a very common argument. Is it live or live mode? Um, I've always said live mode, but obviously a lot of people always said live mode. Um, there isn't like a right or wrong answer. It literally is whatever, you know, whatever makes the most sense to you, that's correct, <laughs> right? Uh, but there, yeah, that's a, that's a common, um, like, I guess, I was gonna say argument, but it's not that deep. <laughs> but that is something that's like commonly discussed by people. It's like, which, what is it, you know, is it live or live? Um, but... Okay. But yeah, I've always said, like, live, so. One wall inside, like, the stairs downstairs isn't painted. Oh, you mean this wall? It is painted. I just, it's a different color. Is that what you mean? Um, I can paint it the same blue, but I had it white on purpose. Um, but anyway. No, I don't think EA has commented either. I think that amongst the Sims team, people say it differently. Um, the other side of the stairs? What do you mean? The stairs are the same. It was just white. It was the same. I had it on purpose, but whatever. What do you mean? This is, it's... Um, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, long story short, the Sims team, I think they probably say it different amongst their group as well. <laughs> you know, like the people who work on the game probably don't have a definitive. The wall that cuts off the railing on the left side. Are you telling me, what are you asking me about? This is all painted. It's all painted the same color. It's just the lighting is different. Um, one wall piece sticking the stairs and the bathroom. Oh, this, oh my God. Okay, sorry. Thought you were trying to tell, us, tell me this was, wasn't painted, and I was like, it's, it is! <laughs> it is! Um, okay, there you go. There you go. Um. Alright. Um. Do we need anything else? This is the thing, I'm really not sure. Like, I don't know... There's no clock. You want me to add a clock somewhere? Oh, that looks so weird. Oh my God. No, we can't do that. Oh, weird. I guess a clock would be 
useful. Maybe I'll put it up high on that wall. Or maybe I'll put it on this wall. I think there's like a little bit of pink happening down here. And I can't tell. Lava lamp upstairs. Oh, I was gonna do that and then I got distracted. I meant to put it on this table. You're so right, Bessie, you're so right. That is exactly what I wanted. Oh, it's gonna be weird, hang on. Scoot, place. That's so fun. It's really pink, but it's so fun. My blush looks so cute. I'm not wearing any. My face is just red, but thank you. <laughs> My face is just red today. My face feels hot right now. <laughs> I'm not wearing any blush though, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Well, it's all natural, so. <laughs> My face has been so red. I was I was having a lot of anxiety all day today. I think that didn't help. It was worse before I went live. Um, but it's calming down, I don't know. My face does feel hot though. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, maybe I'll put a clock over here too, just for fun. Just for fun, because then there's something else on the wall. Um, okay, let me rearrange some of the lights in here to be like a little bit less random. And then a couple other little things, like maybe I'll get one of these size down and then oh, this is unpainted itself because I deleted the wall and redid it. This is how the employees access the building. They get in from over there. Oh, I don't have an outdoor trash can. So that would be kind of nice if we had one of those, maybe just over here. Yeah, the stairs looking like that, like the ombre part looks so cool, doesn't it? That's so fun, but that's because it's like pink upstairs, obviously. So, please add a rug to the dining area. I don't think I'm gonna put a rug over there. Cause like realistically, I, I don't think that um, it would be that practical to have a rug over there. Uh, at least for me, cause it's like a dining area and there's public space. Um, and it would be like in the middle, I don't know. Um, so I, I think I would prefer to not have a rug over there. Um, Please add a photo booth. You know, people have been asking me to put a photo booth this whole time. The thing about that that makes me a little bit nervous is that it's so enormous. Um, so I don't really know like where it would go because <laughs> it's so big. Um, like, I don't know, it's just huge. Does it work size down? No, because your sims have to get in there. But I guess if you had it, like, maybe if we did that and then we moved the tree over or something, I guess it could be back there. It's kind of out of the way. So that might not be terrible. Can it fit upstairs? No, there's not enough space for it. It's huge up there. Um, put it where the arcade machine is. Oh, it won't fit. It's too, you guys gotta keep in mind how big this is. It's enormous. Um, it might be nice to have a photo booth, I guess, cause then your Sims like, I don't know, they can get pictures with their friends. They can woohoo in there, so. <laughs> I think that might be a nice touch just for like functionality of it, you know? I'll put a light there on the side. The tree looks awkward where it is. Are you saying that because it's on the end of the lot? Cause you gotta keep in mind that the lot like basically pretends to expand this far out. So I honestly, guys, I'm really liking this. I think that I might feel like it's done. Is it a club? No, it's actually a, a cafe. Um, looks like an ice cream parlor, but it's a cafe with an arcade up top. Can you see it in the dark? You're basically seeing it in the dark. <laughs> this is what it looks like in the actual dark. 
Um, but it's in the evening right now, because this is the only time the lighting is not terrible. Um, okay, what are we gonna call this? Yeah, yesterday it was causing me a lot of stress. I didn't love this build yesterday, I won't lie. I didn't love it. Am I gonna do uniforms and menus on stream? Okay, so it's not a restaurant, it's a cafe. So they don't have like a menu or a uniform for the employees. Um, you don't like run this lot. Uh, it's the cafe lot that came with Get Together, so. Um, I don't know. Um, I built a little high school hangout using my newest shell challenge. This is a cafe and arcade. Hashtag Lil Simsy. What was the hashtag for my shell challenge? <laughs> Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, the, the hashtag was Simsy New Year shell. Okay. There we go, got it. <laughs> yeah, it's on a 20 by 15 lot only. Um, caffeinated gamer cafe. <laughs> Maybe, that's not a terrible idea. Wait. Why not? <laughs> sure. I, I think that's kind of cute. It's got the right vibes. It's a cute little cafe, I don't know, can't go wrong. Okay, let's upload it. Connect, please work, please work, please work, please work, please work, please work. Save new. Please work, 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 please work. Please work, please work, please work. Yay! Okay, we did it. Well, it's up. At least it says it is. Should be. Caffeinated Gamer Cafe. Oh, is it not up? Did it not work? Did any of you get the notification? How many of you have your game open and follow me? Can some at least one person confirm that you saw the notification? Because then I would know that it worked. Nothing came up. It doesn't have a little, I, it doesn't have a little like thingy. So maybe it didn't work. Let's try again. You didn't see that or the tiny house one? Oh no. Well, I'm uploading it again. We'll see if it works this time. Come on. I'm not asking for much. <laughs> I just want it to post to the gallery. Come on. Oh, that's right, you have to connect to the gallery now. You're not always automatically online. Uh-oh. Did not work, I just connected. Uh-oh. It's not working now either, is it? Well, I will also, while I wait for this, I'll tell you. I'm also gonna post a speed build of this on YouTube, probably on Sunday this weekend, I'll post a speed build. Um, so that uh, everyone can see the full finished product. Um, I'll get that speed built up, which will be fun. And then I'll maybe also make a video out of that micro home. I don't know, we'll see. Lots going on today. Uh, this is not working. <laughs> this is not having a good time. So. Uh-oh. <laughs> Junimo, Robin, Elve, and Mai, and Moso, and Kristen, uh, Love, and Nicole, and Foxy, and Sims, and Foxy, and Left. Thank you for the subs. Oh, no. So... Did I save my game? Yeah. The lot traits? I did the lot trait already. It has the teen neighborhood lot trait. Um... Okay. Well, I think this is permanently loading. I might have to close the game and redo it. Cause like, why is it still doing this? Like we, the other one that we uploaded, uploaded so quickly. This is an unfortunate situation that we are in. But, okay, well, <laughs> I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna close it, and then, uh, we'll... Oh. Okay. Cool. <laughs> cool. 
let's reload and try again. I don't know, we'll see. Oh God, oh yeah, that's because uh, basically my OBS, it's got like layers of the scenes and stuff, right? Or layers of the screen captures. Um, and I have a game capture on top of my uh, Elgato capture card capture. Um, so when the game capture went away, it like tried to load the Elgato one. Well, obviously I don't have my switch open. So it just says, can't see anything. <laughs> That's why it does that. Um, anyway, we try again. Hopefully it's all there. Cause if not, well, that would be sad. <laughs> if not, that would be, um, frankly, upsetting. So, I don't know, we shall see. We shall see. Um, come on. Come on. Come on. Hurry up. Cafes, uh, work the cafe is actually not a dine out restaurant gamer girl the cafe is is the cafe lot from get together it's like a coffee shop not a restaurant um so it's a different lot type so <laughs> you would quit never come back if that happened to you <laughs> that's how i'm feeling right now <laughs> okay it is all there for some reason my game thinks it's raining which is like rude. Oh, it should be already in my library at least, right? Yeah. Let's try again. Oh, that, that should have worked that time. It said I shared the lot that time. So I think that worked. Okay, cool. <laughs> Elixir, thank you for the raid, by the way. See, it worked so fast that time. Why was it doing that before? That was so weird. Okay, well, we did it. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> Um, yeah, Cheddar, if you want to, you can. Here, here's my philosophy on the shell challenge, right? Obviously, the rules are that at its core, I'll go look at it so I can show you and we can like talk it out. At its core, the shell challenge is a box that you're supposed to turn into something. And the whole idea of it is that we all have the same box. And so it's cool how my box, I made into a cafe and I built it in this world, but your box, you made it into a house and you made it in Sulani or, you know, whatever. Um, Cause it's cool how we all have the same starting point, but then made it into so many different things. So at its core, the main thing is that you just can't change these walls. Like those walls need to be in the same spot, but you can pretty much add or do anything else that you want to. Um, the question was, am I allowed to place the shell multiple times? Um, like, could you have like two of them next to each other? Definitely. People do that a lot. People will make like, someone back in the day used to make an Ikea out of every single shell that I did. And they'd put like four of them together and then like connect them uh, through like walkways and stuff and make it into an Ikea. People have made like um, multi-generational type of homes where it's like this one's grandma's, this one's mine, they're on the same lot. Um, so you like absolutely can do anything that way. Um, if you wanna place it twice, place it twice, you know? Um, but the main thing is that you just can't change like those existing walls, but you can add platforms, you can add foundations, add balconies, even adding like half walls and fences is fine. Just the, the whole idea is that this shell stays the same. As long as the shell is the same, like that's the, the goal. But also like with the shell challenge, here's my other kind of philosophy on this, right? The point of this is to like inspire you to want to build something you know, and like, hopefully maybe you'll get like a cool idea and, and try and do something cool. So if you've got a really cool idea and you like absolutely must break a rule to do it, listen, this is supposed to be fun. <laughs> you know, like I, it's, it's fine. Like it's not that big of a deal, right? Like it, this is like the core concept, but if you want to adjust it so it's more fun for you, it's supposed to be fun. So do whatever is fun, right? Like <laughs> that's the whole idea is that it's a fun challenge. So if you like need to do something different, like for example, you aren't technically supposed to like add a basement or whatever, but if you like really need to add a basement to execute your idea, do it, you know, like what? It's not like it hurts anybody, <laughs> it's just fun. So if you have like a great idea and you need a basement for it, add it, you know, um, you're not supposed to, but Who's checking? Me? Okay, well, I don't care. So it's fine. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, but that's the whole point is that it's supposed to be fun. So 
And then of course we'll do the shell tours on stream on January 28th. So um, in like a week and a half or so, we'll do the shell tours together. And then basically how that works is um, we have like a point request that you can put in. You can redeem points to put your name in the list and then we randomize it. And then I pull up people's usernames and then tour their builds. We usually get through as many as we can, but obviously like we can't get through all of them. <laughs> it's just not possible. Um, but it, so it's kind of like randomly selected. We pick um, names to tour on stream, so. That part's kind of fun because we get to see a lot of builds that day and then I'll make a video about it too and I'll show off like a handful of them in the video um, essentially is the idea. So <laughs> that's the concept and I think it should be fun. I love these shell challenges. Um, I really, really like the, the like community aspect of it too. How like we're all kind of working on this thing together. Like for the next few days, people are gonna come into chat and be like, Lil Simsy, I hate you for what you've done with this shell challenge. And we'll all kind of like, I don't know, have it together and it's just cute. It's cute that we have this thing that we can do together. It's fun when you take like The Sims, it's like such a, such a single player game and make it into like a, I don't know, co-op sort of group experience, you know? Yeah, commiserating, exactly. <laughs> um, can you move the entire build down into the basement and make an underground house? Yeah, people have done that. I Why not? You know? Um, it's fun. So people do all kinds of fun things with the shell. There's so much creativity that goes into it. It's just, I'll show you the hashtag. I bet there's a lot on the hashtag already. Um, but it's really cool because everybody takes it in like such a different direction. Um, like you can see, oh, it's there twice. Whatever, I'll worry about, it's there three times. <laughs> oh no, look. <laughs> what, I can't, I whatever, it's fine. Uh, but you can see already just going off of this, like how different all of these are, but they're all the same box, which is just really cool. Like everybody took it in such different directions. And it's, I love that about shell challenges. These all look like completely different, you know, like one person built this farm. Somebody else made this like modern karaoke bar. Um, we have just so many different cool things that people have done. So, um, that's the fun part of it. <laughs> Lil Simsy's trying to cheat and get three entries. <laughs> Lil Simsy, what is wrong with you? <laughs> sorry, sorry, thank you for the three months, by the way. Yours was there? Nice. Nice. Um, anyway, the other thing that I wanted to talk about quickly uh, before I got off stream, I figured we could have a little debrief about the Sims announcement today. <laughs> um, I think that would be a fun idea. If you missed it, there was a small update um, to The Sims 4 today. They fixed a couple bugs, most notably, um, you know the bug where your Sims heads would move when the game was paused? Like you would pause the game and they would be like, and it was really creepy. They fixed that, so they say. Um, <laughs> they still move for you? Oh, well, that's great. I haven't, pl I've only been building today after the update, so I haven't seen. Um, oh, it is still there? It's still there? Oh no. Well, they said they fixed it, <laughs> but I don't, maybe they didn't, maybe it didn't work. <laughs> oh no. Oh my God. I haven't tested it yet. I've only been building after I recorded. I, we've been building for all streams, so I haven't been with a sim on pause. <laughs> oh no. Um, the other thing that they fixed, or so they say, um, the major one that stood out to me was how you, remember how like the wants and fears, you when you would turn them off, they wouldn't turn off. Um, yeah, so they supposedly fixed that. Now you can actually turn off wants and fears. So I don't know, I haven't tested that either, but they said that. And then the other thing is uh, they announced two new kits. Uh, we have the Simtimits kit that has like some cool underwear in it. And also the bathroom clutter kit that has like, you know, a comb, toothpaste, little clutter items. Um, so very interesting selection. They put the, as they say, woo in woohoo. Um, and they announced those today. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, I don't know. It's kind of cool. I actually think that this, uh, a lot of these underwear things are really cute. This one in particular, I really like. I'm like genuinely so impressed by this. The like cutout. She has like an under boob cutout. How cool is that in The Sims 4? I don't know. 
but I like it just seems like a thing that I didn't expect but um, I'm not sure that it is something I would buy if it wasn't a youtuber but it is like a fun addition um, and it's cute we don't have anything like this it just feels like a weird like I don't know I think I also have kind of a slightly negative opinion of it because I'm like only seeing the teasers they've done and so there's not really a lot that they've shown so I'm like okay it's like a handful of all right, but what else is there? So once we see more, I might be more inclined to like it. I'll have to see once once that pack actually comes out. Um, but I'm really into the bathroom clutter kit. So yeah, I think I'm the same way, Tay. I don't think I have anything against the kit. It just seems like the kind of thing that I don't really care about cast kits. And also, I don't know. I don't really think I would use this that much, but maybe I will. Who knows? We'll see. But it just feels like the th kind of thing that I probably wouldn't buy if I wasn't like making Sims content for a living, which is um, usually how I uh, judge things. <laughs> Would I buy this if I wasn't a Sims YouTuber? Would this one? For me, probably not. But that doesn't mean that you wouldn't like it, you know? If it's $5 for underwear, I know. But she's like laying there eating grilled cheese and looking cute, so. <laughs> The bathroom clutter really speaks to me though, and the bathroom clutter, it uh, it has light switches. Which I realize sounds like so silly, like okay, it comes with light switches. But it comes with light switches! That's so cool! We don't have anything like that! So, are they functioning? Oh, probably not. I would be really surprised if they were functioning. It's decorative, but it's cute decorative. They said they're adding one into the base game though. They confirmed that. There's gonna be one base game light switch. And um, there's, I think, two in the kit. So I'm curious about it. It should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. You'd like outlets too? Yes, I would love if they added outlets. That's like a huge request of mine is light switches and outlets because I would love to have my Sims just have like a little bit of realism, you know? I like that kind of thing. You also have CC outlets. Yeah, the, people make a lot of CC light switches. I've seen a lot of that sort of thing. And modders usually make them functional. But I wouldn't be surprised if they weren't functional in The Sims, by The Sims team. But usually the modders CC light switches, or they work, so. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> CC means custom content. It's like um, you can download mods that other players have made. Uh, maybe it might be like a, a new hair or a, a light switch <laughs> or like a chair or something. Um, or sometimes bigger mods, like bigger, more serious mods, like ones that actually affect how the cheats work and stuff. Um, but yeah, hope useless decor items like that are fun. It's nice having like little details. I love little tiny details. Oh, they said they aren't working. Oh, did they clarify that already? Mm. Confirmed non-functional light switches. <laughs> Your Sims toilet has never caught on fire before until today. What is going on? Cute, did you upgrade it by accident? Or did you upgrade it in general? Because the Sims toilets, wait. Um, so, oh, I don't have a Sim here. But so when you upgrade the toilets, there's like a composting container upgrade if you have eco lifestyle and that's what causes them to catch on fire. And if you have like a sim that's maxed the handiness aspiration and they do like the super upgrade or whatever, um, it up does all the upgrades, including the composting one, which means that if you don't use the compost, it might combust. And if you're me, you like that and you let it happen to your sims once, twice a day. But you may have like upgraded it and not realized the uh, consequences. <laughs> What I understood is what is using the compost. Isn't it like feeding it to your worms or something? Look, I don't know. Oh, hi, Ninja! <laughs> Do you know anything about the worms? Um, in the compost? <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> oh god, ads are about to play. I can't snooze it any longer. I snoozed it three times. I maxed it out. I can't stop it anymore. I'm sorry, chat. Um... I think it's for gardening, yeah. Ninja, you troll. <laughs> I've been trying to warn them. I've been trying to warn them that there wouldn't be an infant update for a whole week. I was like, guys, I really don't think that it's gonna be on Tuesday. I really don't think so. And now, oh, here we are. 
<laughs> can I ban him, please? Christine, I don't think that we can ban Singuru Ninja because I feel like that might negatively impact my career. Just a thought, but I feel as though that may backfire on me. <laughs> I feel like if we ban Simguru Ninja, it might end badly for Lil Simsy. <laughs> uh, but anyway, this is the teaser from today, so. I'm looking forward to it. This little turtle decal, by the way, is really speaking to me. I'm really excited about that. It would be funny though. <laughs> I could never stunt Lil Simsy's career, Lord, I've tried. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll keep that in mind, Sim Guru Ninja. I won't forget this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, but yeah, I made a whole video today on this uh, announcement. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts more, I just kind of said them on stream, but... If you want to hear them again, I made a video on YouTube, so. <laughs> oh, it's captioned. Nice, Hope. You were fast with that. Very cool. Uh, quick shout out to Goose Kingdom in the chat who does my closed captions on YouTube. So, very exciting. Thank you, Hope. <laughs> Much appreciated. I'm sorry. I know I made some long videos this week. I know that legacy video from yesterday is... It's gonna be a rough one to caption, so thank you for being fast with this one. <laughs> Look at that! Thank you, Hope. <laughs> and yeah, and then we'll make a video on the actual kits on Thursday, so. That'll be fun. That will be fun. And then we can build like a bathroom or something. I don't know. Super exciting. Speaking of, Stream schedule. I'm getting off stream in a few minutes, by the way, but stream schedule for this week. Tomorrow, we're villager hunting and Animal Crossing. I'm still looking for Wart Jr. So I'm on the hunt for Wart again. Uh, we'll, we'll work on that tomorrow. <laughs> and then on Thursday, the kids will come out. I was originally going to build my new legacy house on Thursday, but I guess we probably could still do that, but I might do like a pack specific bathroom build? I don't know what that means, but I will build like a bathroom house or something. And then we can start the legacy video. Cause I, I sort of, um, intended to have like Thursday and Friday to build a legacy house. So it's okay if we are slow with getting started with it, you know? Um, so we can go through, um, and get ready. Bathrooms in every room, a house with only bathrooms. <laughs> you know how like those big fancy houses, have like, sometimes they'll put the bathtub like in the primary bedroom. The primary bedroom is the bathroom and I just put like toothpaste everywhere. That's the idea. So. <laughs> I don't like it when houses have that. I don't, I don't like the idea of a bathtub in my bedroom. To me, that is really weird. Like I would not enjoy that. Bathtubs belong in the bathroom. Go back to where you where you came from, bathtub. I don't want you on my nice, cozy bedroom. Yeah, like this, it feels like the kind of thing that you would step out of the bathtub and then just get like water all over your bedroom floor. Who wants that? Yes, okay, there's this YouTuber, Sophia Nygaard. I actually, she was on my, on my Twitch stream once. Uh, she came to our Red Nose Day charity stream. We played The Sims together. So you might know her from that and not from her uh, immense YouTube fame, but she made a video this week where she went to every hotel in the Las Vegas Strip. I'm not kidding. It's in two parts. She uploaded at the same time, which is so, so bold and so brave. And I appreciate so much because there's nothing worse than waiting for a part two. But she posted two one hour long videos. So in total, it's two hours of her going to every hotel on the Las Vegas Strip. Iconic. I love that. I love that kind of thing. It is so much fun. Like, I genuinely enjoyed that so much. And in one of the hotel rooms, um, the bathtub was, like, in the, the bedroom. They had a toilet in a separate room in the hallway. And then they had a sink and a shower, but no toilet in the bedroom, in, like, this hotel suite. It was very weird. I do not want a bathtub in my bedroom, though. So... <laughs> Las Vegas seems wild to me. Those hotels are so interesting, <laughs> but I feel like I would enjoy maybe going to see it, but I'm not interested in like 
gambling, you know? Oh my god, no spoilers, but I'm gonna say it. One of the hotels, they opened the mini fridge and there was rotten food in it. Like someone had left leftovers in the mini fridge. It had rotted and no one cleaned it for like probably a long time because it was disgusting. And then, and then later on, it happened again. There was a plate with half a sandwich just in the mini fridge. These are like mini fridge with like, they have like, like alcohol in them. Like a, you know, you pay for it. You can like buy the, but there was just a half a sandwich in it. And that happened twice. They went to, was it like 33 hotels? But like, that's twice too many times. <sighs> that is so icky. Oh no. But anyway, you would like the video. It is very long, but you might like it. It's kind of fun. So I'm sure one of my mods can put a link for you in the chat, but. Um, yeah, one of them had like stained pillows. Oh, like so creepy. <laughs> I do not want to think about that. The, the food though is such a like, uh, one, it's like, was it a one-star hotel? No. Have you heard of the Bellagio? It's a very famous, enormous hotel in Vegas. It's the one that has the fountain show. So you, if you've ever seen a picture of the Vegas strip, you might've seen it. That's the one that had the rotten food in the fridge. It's not even like a small hotel. It's like a, yes, that one. And it's expensive. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that wild? Um, but anyway, like seeing, seeing that is such a like, oh my God, did they even clean this room? <laughs> the food is amazing. Not amazing enough to not be left rotting in the mini fridge for an extended period of time. <laughs> it can't be that amazing because nobody finished it and it was left in the fridge for who knows how long. Oh, so icky. So, so, so icky. Oh my god. Anyway, I forget what other one had the rotten food in the fridge, but one of them had rotten food in the fridge. Or the sandwich or whatever. But I don't need to see somebody else's sandwich in my hotel room. That is so gross. Yeah, I don't know, Hitch, because I always, like, I've not been to that many hotels that have mini bars, but I used to, like, be scared to even look at it. Because I was like, I don't want to get charged. <laughs> I don't want to open it. I don't want to get charged. So I can't, I don't understand, like, how they didn't know there was food in there for so long. Because, like, if it has a sensor... How did, how did food get left in it for that long? I don't know. But in my mind, I'm like, if you open it, you're getting charged. <laughs> if you touch it, you're getting charged. <laughs> There's most of the hotels that I've stayed at have like just had an empty mini fridge, not like an actual mini bar that had stuff in it. But um, I don't know. I don't stay in a lot of hotels that have mini bar type stuff so but anyway <laughs> i don't want to touch it <laughs> most of them are when something is removed but not when stuff is added i guess that makes sense so maybe if like they knew that like nothing had been removed from it they just figured that they didn't need to open it to replace anything so they just didn't open it and then food got left in there i don't know yikes <laughs> but anyway the video was kind of exciting so you might want to like you might want to watch it but <laughs> ninja i'm not a fancy person at all i also don't drink so that doesn't help um but anyway anyway <laughs> we say the palacio years ago they had a tv in the bathroom really that's kind of fun But yeah, I only stay in hotels where they they um, they bring my drinks to me. They pour them for me. So, I mean, you do have Dan fill your water bottle sometimes. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Huh. Anyway, um, I'm gonna find someone to raid soon. We should stop talking about Vegas. Hey, Ninja. While we're on the subject of hotels. Any, any word on uh, hotels for the Sims 4? It's just an idea. Just asking. Let us know. 
You have a better proposition? Oh my god, don't get hope started. I shouldn't have brought it up. <laughs> now hope's gonna start talking about horses again. My whole Twitch chat literally any time. I don't know how this happens. But once every day, it there becomes like a horse. It it like something comes over us and it's like it's like all we can talk or think about. Hope didn't even say it this time. We just all knew what she was talking about. Oh my god. Anyway, um, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Okay, um, I'm gonna find someone to raid. <laughs> we can't go down this road again. We can't start talking about jousting again, guys. It's not, it's not fine. It's not fine. Um, okay, well, <laughs> um, how about we go and say hi to, oh, I know where I'm going. My friend Emrys. It looks like it's playing the 100 baby challenge. Oh, you better work fast, Emrys. <laughs> We've got this like baby update looming over us. <laughs> Who knows what will happen? You're gonna go play with infants and pretend you didn't hear any of this? Ninja is taunting us all day. <laughs> Ninja has infants and we don't. Anyway, my friend Emrys is doing the 100 baby challenge and the clock is ticking. <laughs> You might want to finish that fast before this infant update comes out. <laughs> um, but anyway, anyway, we'll go over and say hi. It looks like they've had 60 babies. I don't know. Sounds like you have some work to do. <laughs> anyway, everybody have a great rest of your night. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll be here in the morning tomorrow at like 9 o'clock Eastern time, which I realize is unpleasant timing for some of you, but better timing for many of you. 9 o'clock Eastern time is 2 in the afternoon in the UK. So if you're around, I'll be here. On the West Coast though, 6 a.m. Not ideal. Not ideal, <laughs> but I stream in the morning on Wednesday, so I'll be here in the morning tomorrow. And then we'll be building with the new kits and stuff on Thursday. So um, stay tuned for that and I'll catch you all tomorrow. Okay, all right, good night everybody. Goodbye and stop the stream.